Marcy Bailey from Bailey's Fine Jewelry here to share why Bailey's is consistently voted best place to buy your diamond. First off, our amazing selection of diamonds is unparalleled. We also have hundreds of the most coveted engagement ring styles to fit any budget. And if that's not enough, you can utilize our vast selection of loose diamond inventory and custom workshop to create your dream ring. I invite you to come see for yourself. Visit us today in store or at baileybox.com. This is Ice T, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Matty Ice. This is a cold call. I convinced NFL teams to turn to cold water washing with Tide. The NFL, your uniforms get dirty. Tide can handle it, even in cold. Plus, if fans join in, they can save up to $150 on their energy bill. Looks like you just made the team, rookie. Turn to cold with Tide. And that's the bottom line. For great savings, buy Tide Hygienic Clean at Target. Energy savings based on average from switching from hot to cold and non hg What's going on guys hope you guys are doing well about to kick off another stream we got some more 2k 77 action for you guys picking up where we left off so if you'll remember i think we got through the first month of the season last time it was a great time so here's kind of how everything is shaking up uh in the quest for the mvp uh it looks like kareem abdul is leading the race right now um i mean he's uh pretty clearly leading in points per game and rebounds per game and the man's averaging 31 points 28 rebounds which is pretty incredible uh bill walton 24 points 18 rebounds a game david thompson is averaging 36 and a half points a game and 10.5 rebounds per game artist gilmore is in the running spencer haywood um, rookie of the year, we're not too much worried about that right now, but Adrian Dantley and Moses Malone pretty much are going to be in the battle. Uh, these two above guys we're not going to worry about. They're not real. Um, Junior Bridgman, of course. Uh, yeah, Junior Bridgman, sixth man of the year. Uh, Moses Malone, possibility. Clifford Ray, Truck Robinson, and Gail Goodrich, sixth man of the year candidates. Defensive Player of the Year candidates so far, Artis Gilmore, Bill Walton, Mar Maurice Lucas, Elvin Hayes, and Dave Cowens. Uh, we don't have a Most Improved Player because this is our first season, and that's about it there. Let's go ahead and just uh, remind you guys kind of what the playoff standings are looking like. 
Um, so right now, the Chicago Bulls are 12-0 on the West Coast. If you guys recall, I believe Chicago moves to the East Coast next season. So we'll do some realignment there. Um, the Portland Trail Blazers uh, are 11-1 with Bill Walton and company. Bob Lanier and the Pistons are 10-3 right now. Golden State Warriors, Rick Barry, they're 10 and 3. Uh, David Thompson's Nuggets are 9 and 2. Indiana Pacers, 8 and 4. Kansas City Kings, 7 and 4. Milwaukee Bucks, 7 and 4. Phoenix, 6 and 5. LA, 6 and 6. So they're struggling. Kareem got to get his team to the playoffs. Seattle Supersonics are 3 and 9. And that's pretty much it for your real teams. On the East Coast, you've got uh, the Boston Celtics at 10 and 1, leading the East. 10 and 2 are the Buffalo Braves. San Antonio Spurs 8 and 4 with the Iceman George Gervin. Pete Maravich is 8 and 4 over there in New Orleans. The Bullets 6 and 4. Cavs 6 and 5. Rockets 6 and 6. And the Hawks are 5 and 6 right now. Um, so they're holding the A slot. Dr. J's 76ers are struggling quite a bit. They're 5 and 7. Um, the Nets are 4 and 7. The New York Knicks are 4 and 8. Um, let's go back and just look at uh, scouting so you guys can get a look at this draft class. Uh, right now, so a lot of these teams aren't real. So the first pick would most likely go to the Seattle Supersonics. And they might go ahead and swap up Bernard King. We'll see if they do that. I'm not sure what they will do. Um, you've, of course, got Norm Nixon, Walter Davis, Cedric Maxwell, Otis Birdsong, Brad Davis, all these guys, Jack Sigma. So we got we got an interesting uh, interesting uh, lineup for you guys, but I think without further ado, I mean I think we really just got to get into it for January. So we're at uh, January first, nineteen seventy seven. The season continues. Let's see what kind of matchups we want to look at here. Uh, Nets Bulls probably not. Bucks and Pacers is probably a good one. Let's go ahead and simulate that one. And it looks like the Pacers are going to crush the Bucks here. Nothing to see there. Uh, Indiana Pacers. Oop. Indiana Pacers led by Billy Knight. He puts up 28 points, 10 rebounds. Uh, and that's pretty much dominant. Uh, Brian Winters has a pretty good game. 24 points for him. Nader, 20 points, 12 rebounds, 4 assists. Uh, Bridgman, 13-3. and three. So, unfortunate loss for Milwaukee. We're going to keep him moving. Uh, let's see. Not real. Not real game. Not a real game, not a real game. Trailblazers and Spurs. Okay, so this should be a good one. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a match up here. Yeah, let's see if we can get a match up here. All right, so into the third, we got a close game. jump in 79 76 blazers versus spurs let's go ahead and make sure we all right um i forgot how to do this let's see all right game rules yeah we want to turn the three-point line off So, uh, San Antonio up by three. They have the ball against uh, the Blazers. They're doubling George Gervin. 
kick out the Preston, out to Gervin. Trailblazers shooting at 36%. They really seem out of sync offensively. Oh, what a pass down to Lucas. Love to see it. Just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and. Oh, George Gervin all the way, dunking it down, and he puts his team immediately back up. That's good to see. 81 78, San Antonio up. Making a statement for sure. I mean, Portland we'll out to Gilman. That aggressive approach, guys. And here are the Trailblazers now. After the basket by San Antonio. Oh, it's good gone. bucket by the Blazers. And they are right back in it with this one. Gilly Gilliam with the bucket there. San Antonio calls timeout. All right, so San Antonio calling the timeout. We got 24 seconds left. seconds left in the fourth quarter. So I don't know. I mean, 24.4 seconds left. George Gervin, your player of the game. No surprises there. The Iceman, George Gervin, 24 points, 11 of 18 shooting. They inbound to Silas. Silas is going to go to the free throw line. First shot is good. Second shot is good. So San Antonio up by three, which if you guys don't remember, that's pretty crucial in 1977 because in 1977, you got to realize that there is no three-point line. So they cannot shoot a three. So they are going to have to get a quick bucket and try to foul again. We'll see if that's what they do here. Blazers inbound it. Bill Walton in the post. They're trying to get it to him. He keeps coming off the screen. Not really working for him. They're kind of wasting their time. Lay in. No good. Good rebound by Lucas. Lucas back in. And it is 83-82. And all of a sudden the Blazers are right back in it. 8.7 seconds left. They have to foul. No surprises there, certainly. did a nice job getting it in his hands and making sure he was Shoot the guy two. who'd go to the line. <laughs> he drops the first first shot the is good. These are clutch free throws here for the Spurs. Second shot is also good. So Spurs go up by three, and all of a sudden the Blazers are in trouble. Probably not going to lead at anything here. They're just going to hawk up a crazy shot. And, yeah, that's about it. So Spurs win the game. George Gervin getting the best of Bill Walton there. Let's check out the box score. So, of course, George Gervin, 24 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals. Uh, Bill Walton, 22 points, 16 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal, 3 blocks. Uh, Larry Steele, second leading scorer for the Blazers. He had 16. So, unfortunate loss for the Blazers there. They're going to go home with the L. And we're going to turn the music back on and keep getting into this game this season. All right. So that leaves the Spurs 9 and 4, great record for them right now. And Trailblazers get their second loss of the year. So only two losses for them. All right, Braves versus uh Atlanta. This is definitely one worth jumping into. Um both teams playoff contenders at this point of course Atlanta's struggling so we'll see kind of how this shakes out Braves of course one of the most dominant teams in the NBA right now and they're doing some more good work man they're just wiping out the Hawks 114-72 that's a bad way to lose right there uh, looks like Randy Smith is really the dominating factor for the for them right now. 28 points, 9 rebounds, 
24 points, 12 rebounds for McAdoo. Uh, Adrian Dantley, the rookie, 19 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists for him. Give me just a second. All right, so... Yeah, Adrian Dantley, 19 points. Uh, John Shoemate, only his third year in the league. He had 17, 9 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals. Moses Malone at 13 and 7. Um, for the Hawks, really no one did anything. 11 and 11 for John Drew, but that's about it. And so Braves continue to dominate Atlanta. They're 11 and 2 now. Same record as the Blazers. So I think we're going to move on to January 2nd. 76ers and Cavs. Yeah, we're going to keep watching uh, Dr. J games just because I want to get him on screen as much as possible. Hold on. Let's uh, get some music back in here. All right. All right, so 76ers up in the fourth against the Cavs. And it looks like they're going to take this one home. 111-105. Good win for them. Uh, Campy Russell had 22 points for the Cavs. Six rebounds. 17 points for Brewer. Uh, Jim Jones had 17 points, six rebounds. Clemens had 16. Uh, George McGinnis, though, 27 points, 11 rebounds. Doug Collins, 21 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. 17 points for World Be Free. Julius Irving held to just 14. Interesting. So, but hey, good win for the 76ers. Uh, let's see, how many assists did Henry Bibby have? Oh, Henry Bibby had 14 assists. That's pretty incredible. All right, let's keep it moving, guys. Let's keep it moving. So 76ers are now six and seven. That's good. This was one we had to watch. Cat, uh, Celtics versus Kings. Both teams have great records right now. Let's see how this matchup goes. Wow, Kings handling the Celtics right now. It's pretty surprising. And Celtics trying to make a comeback. They will not do that though. This appears to look over. Oh, oh, oh. Out. Oh. Let's jump in. 108, 105, a minute left. Celtics are down by three. We're gonna make sure. Let's go ahead and turn off our music. Let's go here. Let's go. Um. Let's go game rules. Make sure the three point line is off. All right, and we'll choose our sides. All right, here we go. All right, so Kings versus Celtics. Kings up by three. We got 108 left in the fourth. Johnson outside. Kings out to Washington. Now, here's Washington. Celtics looking to lock down the defense here. They get the ball off to Boone. Boone looking for a play, and Mitty, good defense by the Celtics, and Celtics have a chance to come back right here, right now. White on the fast break, White missed layup, big rebound by Cowens, but he can't get it in. He cannot get the put back to go in, unfortunate for Bill Cowens right there. Oh, yep, open Johnson on the midi. No dice. Cowens with another rebound here. 24 seconds left for Celtics to get back into it. Scott goes all the way, gets blocked by Washington. And the King said, we locked this house up. We're playing at home. You ain't doing nothing. And that's probably going to be all she wrote. Pretty entertaining ending, though. Celtics had all the opportunity and no success there. Good on the first, first shot, and good. And he 
second shot. Good. Possession game now. I mean, those were really important foul shots. Now, a timeout called by Boston. They're behind by five. 16 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, what's your take? They're trying to stay alive. They've got to work quick. So, Brian Taylor, player of the game for the Kings right now, 22 points. He's averaging 20 a game this season. Really playing really well. Kings playing surprisingly pretty well. All right, they inbound to Havlicek. Havlicek has the ball. 14 seconds left. Boston down by five. This one's probably over. Midi by Havlicek. No good. Lacey gets the ball. Intentional foul. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. It is over. All right, let's go ahead and hit that music. All right, let's take a look at this box score. All right, so... Ron Boone for the Kings dominates 30 points for him, four rebounds. Man, he's he's killing it. He's in his prime, man. 86 overall, Ron Boone. Uh Brian Taylor also playing really well in this game. This is his fifth year in the league. He's 25 years old. 24 points, eight rebounds, six assists, three steals. Uh, Scott Wedman also producing 17 points for him. Uh, Cowens had 21 points, 20 rebounds. So Dave Cowens did his thing, but it's just not good enough in this one. Havlicek coming up, 36 year old John Havlicek. Uh, he had 20 points, four rebounds, five assists. Jojo White, 18 points, seven assists, four steal, four assists, four steals. Sorry. Um, so yeah, pretty good game. Kings win by a few, but a good comeback by the Celtics there. We didn't get to see much of that, but they did try to come back. All right. And give me a second, guys. I've got to run upstairs. I will be right back. I promise. I am back. All right, we're going to keep it moving through January. We just got through January 2nd, or part of January 2nd. All right, our next match. Let's see who we want to run next. Uh, let's see, any other good games on this day? It doesn't look like it. No, Hawks-Lakers, that might be a good game. Let's go ahead and check out that one. See if we can get Kareem on screen. We haven't seen really good Kareem footage yet. Man, Hawks really taking the Lakers right now. Oh, okay. Lakers battling back, but they can't quite get there. 
And that's going to be a 100 to 85 win for the Hawks. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, 24 points, 14 rebounds. John Drew, 19 points, 14 rebounds. Uh, Lou Hudson, 17 points, 12 rebounds, 3 assists. Yeah, just good team effort by Atlanta. Kareem needs help. We're gonna see, are there any other games we need to visit? I don't think so. All right, let's go to January 3rd. You got the Cavs and the Knicks, Pacers, Nets, Bucks and Bulls. Let's go Bucks and Bulls. And Artis Gilmore and the Bulls still are dominant. This is insane. Yeah, it's still pretty dominant. 120-95 win over the Bucks. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, for Chicago, 29 points from Wilbur Holland. Second year, 25. He was drafted in the fifth round in 1975. There was five rounds, which is crazy. Um, he had 29 points, six rebounds. Bob Love... Had 22 points. Man, Van Leer had 14 points, 10 assists. Norm Van Leer. Artis Gilmore, 11 points, 17 rebounds, 3 assists, and 4 blocks. Man, this is stalwart. Brian Winters did have 29 points. He played 44 minutes of this game. 25 points for Bridgman, 8 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 steals. Old Bob Dandridge. Yeah, good thrashing of the Bucks by the 14 and 0. The Bulls have yet to lose a game. Jesus, they're the most dominant team right now at least. All right. Cavs beat the Suns. All right. Celtics Suns. Let's go Trailblazers Rockets. That'll be a good one. All right, let's see if we can get Bill Walton on the screen. And it looks like Bill Walton and company are gonna just get it done against the Rockets. 106 to 79. Um, for the Rockets, uh, John Johnson leads the way. Nothing really going on there. Bill Walton, 27 points, nine rebounds, seven assists, one steal, five blocks in the game. 13 points, 20 rebounds for Mar Maurice Lucas. It's pretty incredible. It looks like Lou Lionel Hollins might be hurt. All right, so good game from Bill Walton. Bill Walton going for that MVP trophy, of course. So we'll see if he gets it. Uh, let's do Sun Celtics. What is Suns are six and five? Yeah, this would be a good one. Uh, Spurs, Mavs, Mavs aren't in a team. Yeah, let's do Celtics and Suns. All right, Celtics versus Suns. And it looks like Celtics are handling this one. No surprises. Yeah, no surprises here. 102 to 86, Celtics win their game. Um, Ricky Sobers leading the way. 23 years old for Phoenix. He had 15. Westfall had 12. Nothing much there. Uh, Charlie Scott leads the way for the Celtics in the win. He had 23 points, 19 points, 20 rebounds for Dave Cowens, ladies and gentlemen. Dave Cowens, 19 points, 20 rebounds. All right, 13 points, 14 rebounds for JoJo White. I mean, 13 points, 14 assists for JoJo White. So he's running the point pretty efficiently. Good Sun uh, Celtics win. Suns fall to six and six, and yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty crazy. Hmm. 
11 and 2 record for the Celtics right now. And I think we're just going to go to January 4th. Warriors versus Grizz. No, no. Suns and Kings could be a good game. It seems like the only real game this day. Let's take a look at this one. Suns versus Kings. Two unlikely teams that are doing pretty well. And it's close. It's back and forth. Back and forth. This might be our first jump of the day. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this jump. All right, we got the Kings versus the Suns. We're going to jump in. I do count. In perfect timing. We'll turn that off. All right, so it looks like the Suns are on the line. We're going to make sure that we got the three-point line off. All right, and we'll make sure we're neutral here. All right, so Suns on the line. They are up by two. Random dudes are on the court in the background. Don't know why. He's forcing right. the action now. Yep. Finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. All right, half. so Connie Hawkins nailing a free throw puts his team up by three. He's got 11 in the second half. Boone all the way. Boone laying good for the Kings. And all of a sudden, Kansas within one. Then there's Hawkins. All right, here we go. Suns bringing up the ball. Over to Lee. Lee off the screen. Lee all the way. Connie Hawkins in his way. All right. And we had a foul out. There aren't many other meetings that are as evenly matched as this one. Both teams can give and take punches. And this one, I think, is going to come down to the wire. The quick, he's checked in for Kansas City. Redmond comes in for Johnson. Adams, he's checked in for Phoenix. Lee makes the first free throw. That was huge. And Second so free throw, good. Both. So, Phoenix up by three now. Now, Taylor. Passes to All Boone. right, Taylor over to Boone. That's the man you want with the ball right now. He looks like he's tired. He cuts wing. it down to Robinson. Nice ball movement by Out to Redmond. Suns protecting the interior. Oh, a lob over to Boone, and Boone just looked like he's too tired to grab the lob. And that's a throwaway. Three-point contest. <laughs> Pete Maravich, three-point contender. That's funny. All right, so Lee bringing the ball up. And really the evolution of the three-point shot in today's game. He's got a place in the Over to Connie Hawkins. Connie Hawkins off the screen. Connie Hawkins all the way. Easy money. I mean, that's a good call, Kevin. He's the type of player. And Connie Hawkins really now has 19 points, 10 of those in the paint. Like He'll be very dangerous if he ultimately gets in. And we'll keep you posted as we find out more. And as we get closer to the three-point contest. Kick out to Wedman. Wedman looking for a play here. Wedman all the way. No, good rebound by Robin Zine. And he puts it back up, and he's going to get an and one. So Robin Zine going to get the and one off the rebound. And all of a sudden, the Kings have another chance to get back into this game. Looks like Westfall coming back in for the Suns. That's a pretty good substitution for them. Robin Zine, free throw good. So 95-93, Kansas within two now. 2.33 left. Paul Westfall bringing the ball up for the Suns. Oh, nice move by Westfall. Adams open. Adams laying. No good. Washington with the rebound. And the Kings have a chance to come back. Here we go. Oh, crazy pass. Down to Wedman. Wedman controls it. All right, here we go. Can Taylor do something? Gets it down to Robin Dean. Out to Boone. Boone off the screen. Midi. No good. Kings tried to tie it. Oh, what a pass. The Connie Hawkins who just runs the floor perfectly. 97-93. Suns up by four. Boone all the way. Boone concentrated. Can't get it in. Sobers with the rebound. Sobers has some options. Decides not to take them. 
And he takes it on his own. Wow. What a play by Sobers. Ricky Sobers. 14 points on the night. Wedman looking for a play here. Wedman. Turn around. Ooh, got blocked by Connie Hawkins. In and out by the Kings. Terrell pushing the issue. Sober is down the lane. And they have to force a foul there. You can't hate Boone for that one. Got to be frustrating. His team just getting rocked here at the ending. Minute 12 left. And this looks to be over. Phoenix first shot. Good. Sobers on the second free throw. Good. And that's going to put Phoenix up by a solid eight points. And I think this one is over. And here is Taylor. Pass to Wedman. Here's the quick. Five to shoot. Pass to the quick. Passed on the Eakin. Eakins tries. Yeah, Suns just played some excellent defense here at the end. I don't think they're going to get it. Westfall. Lay in. No good. Kings pushing the issue. They're pretty much done here. This game's pretty much took fried, done. Oh, what a pass to Eakins. Eakins got bullied, though. <laughs> My man just got pushed. Damn, son. And yeah, this is over. So we're going to keep it moving. 103 to 97. Good closeout by the Suns. Uh, Brian Taylor in the loss. He scored 27, 20 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 steals. 17 points for Ron Boone as well. 5 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal. Uh, Paul Westfall, 21 points, 2 rebounds, 5 assists. 21 points, 13 rebounds for Connie Hawkins in his older age, playing pretty well. Uh, Ricky Sobers, he had 13, 16 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. Good win for these guys. Westfall, Hawkins, Sobers, getting it done. Love to see it. All right, we're going to keep it moving. Good win for the Suns there. Got some Connie Hawkins love in the newspaper. Love to see it. Suns are 7-6 and six now, so they're playing pretty well. Uh, Lakers versus Supersonics. We're going to check this game just to see if we can get a Kareem game on the screen. But it looks like Lakers did their job. And they do, so... Fred Brown for the Supersonics. He gets uh, 18 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 22 points, 13 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, 3 blocks. Uh, Byron Beck, randomly, 18 points for him. Lakers get a win. Lakers are now 7-7. Seven and seven. Nothing to see here. I think the 4th is pretty much over. Let's go to the 5th, January 5th. Uh, let's see. Any of these games we want to see. Let's go Knicks 76ers. We're trying to see as much, um, a much of Julius Irving as we possibly can, really. We just want to get, get him on screen. Not going to get it here, though. They're going to beat the Knicks. I think. Yeah, it's pretty much over. Good win for the 76ers. Julius Irving, 26 points. Four rebounds, three assists. George McGinnis, 13, or 23 points, 13 rebounds. Five assists, two steals, and three blocks. Uh, World Be Free, 16 points, seven rebounds, four assists. Good day for him. Um, and that's going to put 76ers at seven and seven, so they're still in it as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, Spurs and Bullets. We haven't seen a Bullets game in a while. Let's go ahead and see what that's like. Uh, wow, Bullets are taking it to the Spurs right now. Holy cow. Oh, tied game. 
71-71. We're going to go ahead and jump in on this one. All right, let's make sure the three-point line is off. All right, three-point shots are off. All right, and we are neutral. All right, so 71-71, bullets for Spurs. We're here in the capital. Kicks to Hayes. Elvin Hayes nice out to right. Elvin Hayes, of course, the star of the squad right now. Wes Unseld also on the court. Looks like George Gervin's on the bench. I don't know why. Wes Unseld backing down. Ooh, what a post move by Unseld. He misses it, though. The Quicks got four rebounds in this game. Hayes out there with the Quick. Then it's Robinson. Then there's the Quick. Ooh, what a move. What a move. I don't even know who that was, but that was a beautiful hesitation move by number 30 from San Antonio. I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. And I love the play call. This is where you get the ball into the hands of your closers, where they can do something with it. And now, let's present our New Balance Player of the Game. All right, Player of the Game is going to be Billy Paltz. And guys, it's been a rugged brand of defense he's played. Uh, I don't for know San Antonio, the man's got eight points, and he's 0 for 7. <laughs> Yo, what? So why is my man 0 for 7? All right, Bing, looking for a play here. Bing. Bing, down to right. Robinson, Robinson down low, can't get it again. Jeez, Washington just choking these layups. Looks like George Gervin's back in the game. I think that's him right there, 44. Paltz looking for a player, no good. Unsell gets it out to right. And it's right with the ball for Washington, trailing by two. This is a two weather spoon. All right, Weatherspoon looking for a player. Weatherspoon all the way. No, Weatherspoon back up. Bang. So Weatherspoon hustling, getting his own rebound, ties the game, 73 all, first take a timeout. But it took a lot of focus and a lot of energy. Two minutes left here in Washington. We're 7 and 0, 7 and 0. Spurs decide to talk it over. We're 73 73 all. Dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. The quick pass to Silas to the middle. Oh, what a pass down to Pulse. Pulse with another lay in. He's clutch right now. 75 73. San Antonio up by two. Bing with a terrible pass trying to get it to look like it was Elvin Hayes. I'm not sure. Oh, all the way. All the way for Silas from the Spurs. San Antonio just choking on the defense here. Bing, or right, looking for a play here. He gets it down to Bing. Bing, lay in, no good. Good defense by Gale from the Spurs. And you have uh, George Durbin run the floor. And unfortunately, there's a foul. Silas is going to go to the line and try to get this game over with. James Silas, 16 points, 7 of 11 from the field. Great shooting night for him. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. The second one is good. Yep. Both at the <coughs> so both those shots good. 79-73. San Antonio really pushing this lead out right now, showing why they're the better team. Robinson down low, hook shot, no good. Fultz with another rebound. Gale pushing the issue all the way. Wes Unseld gets in the way of the shot though. Bing pushing the issue. Oh, what a pass to Robinson! But Pulse with the rejection! Wow! That's a big boy rejection right there. Holy cow. Holy cow.
There's 45 All right, Bullets the inbound the ball. Quarter. They've been having Six trouble getting clock. a bucket against the stingy defense of the Spurs. Here's Bing. Bing. All the way. Gervin does commit the foul, though. Good opportunity here for the Bullets. First shot, good. 74, 79. Bing on the second shot, good. So they're only down by four, but they got 37 points, 37 seconds to get that four points. I don't know if they're gonna do that. So there's 37 seconds left to play here in the fourth. San Antonio looking for a dagger bucket here. 32 seconds left George Gervin just going to hold on to this one and ride it out. Shot clock at five. Oh, George Gervin all the way. Washington no dice. Down. Washington calls timeout. They're trailing by four. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, your thoughts? Looking for a quick shot, trying to extend the game. And on a defensive end, they'll have to foul whomever gets the ball. No time left to be picky. <laughs> Here's right. Oh, wow. The line there. That's be a back oh, crazy backcourt back violation. Look yeah, look at that block. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy, man. He was just like, nah, bro, you're out of here. <laughs> that actually was an incredible rejection, though. But we are out of here now. 81-75, Spurs win this one. Mitch Kupchak, 15 points for the Wizards, 12 points for Weatherspoon. Elvin Hayes, 12 points, 14 rebounds, 1 assist, 2 steals, 4 blocks. He's just getting older. <clears throat> James Silas, 18 points for the Spurs. 15 points for George the Iceman Gervin. 15 points, 9 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals. And we're going to go ahead and head out of this one. Spurs have won 6 straight. They are now 11-4, and four, so good for them. Hawks, Bucks, I think. I think we will simulate this one. Let's go ahead and simulate this one. Hawks, Bucks. Um, you know, while I'm doing that, let me do this. Try to get past this commercial. All right. Yeah, Hawks are going to crush the Bucks. 116, 102. Brian Winters, 26 points, 2 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals. Uh, Bob Dandridge, 16 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists. 16 points for Nader. 9 rebounds, 3 assists. Just not good enough. Alex English was 16. Sixteen points, three assists. He's averaging 16 a game this season. Young Alex English. Uh, John Drew, 20 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists in the win. Tom Barker, looks like this is his first real season in the league. He had 17 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. 16 points for Hudson. Uh, good win for Atlanta. They're 7-7 seven and seven now. Yep, Pistons and Bulls. We'll take a look at that one. Can the Pistons hand Artis Gilmore his first loss? Bob Lanier certainly looking to do that job. Probably eager to do that job. And it's close going into the third. Yep, going into the fourth. Still close. Bulls taking off, though. Oof, this is a good game, but I don't think we're going to get to jump into it. 
Yeah, heck of a performance by both teams, but Bulls just hand it to them. 30 points, 11 rebounds, two assists, two steals, and a block for Artis Gilmore. Wow. Bob Love, 15 points. Not much going for the Pistons. Bob Lanier had 11 rebounds, 7 assists. Can't get it done. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Buffalo Braves versus the Celtics. I'm down for that one as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I believe. You know, let's check Rockets and Nuggets. We haven't seen uh, David Thompson very much. Let's do that one first. And looks like Nuggets are crushing the Rockets. And we'll go on and keep crushing the Rockets. <laughs> 113, 180. I mean, 113 to 80. Uh, Nuggets crush the Rockets. Yep, David Thompson, 34 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, 19 points for Dan Issel. 6 rebounds, 4 assists for him. John Johnson had 17. Rudy Tomjanovich had 16 points, 13 rebounds. Yeah, it's just sad. <sighs> All right, Buffalo Braves, let's get it. Buffalo Braves are 12 and 2, Celtics are 11 and 2. This is the battle of some of the best the NBA has to offer in 1977. Let's get it. All right, back and forth matchup so far. But Celtics take off against the Braves. I'm surprised. Wow. Have a great third quarter. And they're going to coast this one out, it looks like. Wow. Great win for the Celtics. Pretty incredible, actually. Yeah, Celtics win big. 117-93 to against a really great Braves team. Um, and that's going to be in part because Jojo White, he scores 25 points, 14 assists, 3 steals. Uh, let's see, Dave Cowens had 21 points, 15 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, 3 blocks. 16 points for Charlie Scott as a third option. He had 4 rebounds, 12 assists in his 8th uh, year in the league. So very experienced Celtics team. Daryl Green also had a good game. Bob McAdoo, 38 points, 12 rebounds, showing why he's so good. Moses Malone, 15 points, 9 rebounds his rookie season. Dantley kind of fell off, that's why. Yeah, good one for the Celtics. That's pretty, pretty blockbuster win for the Celtics. They're going to go on and stay 12-2. Braves are 12-3 now. I think that'll do it. For that day, any games January 6th? Uh, let's see. Trailblazers and Bucks. Yeah, this could be a decent one. Trailblazers and Bucks. It's a close one going into the third, back and forth. Let's see if we can get Bill Walton on the screen. But it looks like Blazers got control. All right, three-point game, 225 left. I'm good to jump into this one. See some more Bill Walton action. See our MVP. All right, let's go ahead and turn this music off. All right, we're going to make sure... <laughs> Make sure the three point line's off. Shoot signs. All right, here we go. 
92-89, Portland up by three. Kicks it to Lucas. Jones out to towards it. Towards it looking for a play down to Big Bill Walton with the easy bunk. And we got our Bill Walton highlight there. Love to see it. Throwing it down with the one hand. All right, Milwaukee looking to not get embarrassed at home. They're down by five. Two minutes left. They've got Jones. He's out there with Lucas. And it's Walton in at the center. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. One of the stories here, Bill Walton getting it done today. Yeah, the defense has not provided any threat to stop him out there, so it should come to no surprise that he continues Bill to Walton. attack the basket. And now we present 18 our new points. player of the game. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp. And his touch for Winters field, looking for a play here. Brian Winters. Hard to get him the ball Midi. What a play by Brian Winters. He's a hooper. Brian Winters is a little bit of a hooper off that screen. 17 points for him on the night. He's playing really well this season. All right, Blazers looking to get another bucket. Davis all the way. Good defense by the Bucks. They can't get the rebound, though. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Brian Winters getting tagged with the foul, trying to get that rebound. Davis hit his first free throw. Davis hits both free throws, so... Portland game. back up by five. Really like unfortunate that, for the Bucks there. A two possession affair. There's a minute 40 left in the game. All right, Brian Winters off a of screen. Midi again. Banks it. This man's midi game is fire. He has 19 points. Stage in the game, that's just really something unacceptable. He's a great mid range scorer. What a pass in the post, and we get another Bill Walton drop. Just like that one, with one of his shots falling in a crucial moment, too. He's been doing that all night. No one's come Brian Winters down low, step back. Wow, he tried to pull a Kobe. He is not, we're not at that area yet. 98 93, Blaze just looking to close it out here. Minute left. Oh, what a play. And that's going to be it. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. Here's Buckner. Out left of the wing. All right, Winters again. Looking for a place. Step up, Mitty. No good. And Portland has possession. And that's going to be it. Oops. 104 97 blazers do get the win here uh let's check the box score here bob dandridge leads the way for the bucks 20 points for him eight rebounds four assists alex english had 20 points three rebounds three assists brian winters 19 points two rebounds four assists one steal so they got a pretty good scoring contribution also, Junior Bridgman, um, he scored 16 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. Uh, the big man, Bill Walton, 22 points, 11 rebounds, 7 assists, and 2 blocks. Almost a triple-double. Maurice Lucas, 17 points, 9 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks of his own. Uh, Johnny Davis, 16 points for him. This is a good Portland squad. They might win a championship. Who knows? Right, we're going to go back to the lobby. All right, so Bucks are now 7-8. and eight. Blazers holding it down at 14-2. and two. I think that's the only game for the 6 that was really worth it. Let's go to the 7th. Uh, Hawks Pistons. I'm, I'm good with watching that one. Let's try to get some Bob Lanier on screen. And it looks like the Pistons are going to handle this one. Yeah, they do. They win 107-101. Bob Lanier, 36 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists in a, an, an incredible performance against the Hawks. 26 points, 10 rebounds for John Drew. Good performance by both those guys. They put on a show. And Pistons are now 11-4. So Pistons, great record for them. 
Uh, Kings Nets, probably not worth it. Lakers Supersonics, we'll do again just because I do want to try to get as much Kareem on screen as we can. Supersonics are terrible, so the Lakers struggling with them just means he needs some help. Come on, we're hoping for a comeback here. Come on. Come on. Uh, four points. Ugh. Just keep dropping off. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. We'll get some Kareem action. 71-73. Lakers down by two. What do the best ever? Uh, we'll go ahead and pause and look at how that. The offensive approach has been going here Yo, so this man is Paul Florida Pierce East with an afro. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, they made this man Paul Pierce with an afro. Like, what? All right. Uh, let's see. Let's make sure his three-point line is off. And we are neutral. Sonics. All right, here like we go. Paul Pierce with the afro the shooting for the Lakers. They've been the aggressors. They haven't wasted time and I do not see Kareem. I don't even see Kareem on the bench. Points. Wait, what? Oh, there's Kareem. They're trying to sub him in. Alright, so Celtics call or Seattle calls a timeout. Seattle calls timeout. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know that's gonna be the focus of this. I don't know why they have Thunder skin. Thunder cheerleaders, but Fred Brown, player of the game for the Supersonic, 16 points, 6 of 15 shooting. And Bantam going to inbound the ball. We do have Kareem in the game now. We'll see what he has to offer. The Lakers also making some changes. Abdul Jabbar's checked in for Bottoms. And it's Bottoms in for Allen. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. So good defense by the Lakers. During the last break, it hurt Seattle's coach as he addressed the team. He knows this has been a hard-fought game. Oh, my goodness. Kareem, why? Why did he try to block that shot? It made no sense. Let's make a little push here. All right, so Lakers down by three. Here we go. Let's see if we can get Kareem offense. Kareem doing too much right now. They need to get him down low. Midi, no good. Uh, almost a rebound there by Kareem, but Kareem just looking out of it right now. The good defense. Good defense by the Lakers. Good rebound by Kareem. All right, here we go, Lakers. It looks like that. You've got to take it in. Here's Tatum. Oh, what a spin move. Good spin move by Tatum. I'm taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. All right, so Lakers only down by one. We haven't really seen much from Kareem, but we'll see if we can get some action from him. By one. 157 left in the fourth quarter. Alright, here we go. Oh, down to Brown. Brown laying good. Oh. Quick bucket by Seattle. Alright, these people are gonna be standing up again. I hate this. Champ, the pass to Abdul Jabbar. Oh, what a play. Kareem, Kareem, double, Kareem, double. Pass out to Washington. Washington, what is he doing? Oh my goodness, what is he doing? Back down to Kareem. Kareem doubled again. Puts it up though. Kareem with his own rebound. Kareem can't be stopped. Put two men on him. Put three men on him. He can't be stopped. He puts his team back within one. Oh, I thought he was going to get the blocks, but he was totally out of position there. Man, Kareem totally out of position there. First shot good by Tom Burleson. Second shot good. Seattle puts it back up at three-point game. All right, here we go. Lakers down to Kareem. Kareem. Doubled again, baby hook, no good, but a dunk down by Washington. Folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that back one. Oh, man, oh. Kareem just keeps getting played on that roll. All right, Lakers have a chance to take the lead, though. He did get the stop down. Oh, yep, Kareem finger roll, good, let's go. Let's go. Kareem battling his team back. 
confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Here's the quick to the middle. Kareem, good defense there. Finally got in front of his man. And that might be the stop that wins the game. Kareem tried to come off a roll. Good stop by Burleson, though. Preventing him from rolling. He's having to play straight up post basketball, but he doesn't mind because he's going to get that bucket. Kareem's going to get that bucket. With the strength to finish through contact as well as anybody who's ever played. Seattle calls timeout. They're down by three. 24 seconds left in the fourth. All right, so... Sonic trying to get a bucket here. They are down. Oh, Burleson open. Man, Kareem just getting burned off that roll. All right, Lakers just got to hit their free throws and they'll win this game. They're up by one still. First shot, good. Second shot by Tatum. Good. Great free throws there by Tatum. That's what you get paid the big bucks for. Big time free throws there. That could be the difference. It forces them now into a three-point attempt. Here's Burleson. Oh, good defense. There we go. Kareem finally in front of him. Great defense. Burleson does get his own rebound, though. What effort by Bur what effort by Burleson? And that's how the game ends. Burleson trying to get a bucket. What an effort by Burleson, but he was outmatched by Kareem for sure. Um All right, so let's take a look at the box score. 18 points for Fred Brown, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. He's probably the best player on this team right now. Um, not much else going. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar puts up 40 points and 27 rebounds against the Seattle Supersonics. He pretty much did it on his own. That's incredible. Kareem did it on his own. Uh, let's go to um, let's go to the Lakers and check our team records. Kareem Abdul, Kareem Abdul Jabbar got me running from afar. Okay, so Kareem Abdul Jabbar safely has like the records for like all the rebounds now, which is kind of crazy. Um, that's old Kareem, old Kareem. All right. I'll be right back, guys. Give me just a second. I am back. All right, so good one for the Lakers. They're eight and seven now. 
Spurs 76ers, we're definitely jumping in. Anytime we have a Gervin and Julius matchup, we're probably going to jump in. It's a close game. But it looks like the Spurs going to take it here. Don't imagine much of a comeback here, but you never know. They're trying, but they just don't have enough time. Good win for George Gervin. Julius Irving, 34 points against the Spurs, but he just can't get it done. 18 points for World Be Free. George Gervin, 27 points, so they dueled. Uh, Larry Keenan, he had 18 points, 8 rebounds. Billy Pultz turning into a bit of a stud. This man had 16 points, 13 rebounds. Good, good stuff. Alright, so that's going to take us to the next game. I think Denver versus Celtics is a fantastic game to jump in on. Yeah. Alright, Celtics versus... David Thompson versus a talented Celtics team, experienced Celtics team. And it's close going into the third. Nuggets still have the lead though. Nuggets holding on to their lead. Ooh, within nine. Ooh, it's ten. Uh, I think I think David Thompson just got it done. Big win for the Nuggets over the Spurs. Let's take a look at that box score. David Thompson, 36 points against the Celtics. Issel, 23 points. Man, David Thompson's a scorer. Uh, Jojo White had 26 points, 5 assists. Uh, Charlie Scott's 18 points, 13 assists. Havlicek had 16. Callens held to just 11. He did have 12 rebounds, though. That was amazing. Nuggets won 11 in a row. Nuggets winning 11 in a row. It's pretty incredible. Let's go with Warriors Jazz. Let's take a look at the Warriors and Jazz. I think both these teams are doing pretty well. Mm. Rick Barry said, I ain't playing, bro. <laughs> Rick Barry said, I ain't playing, bro. And Pistol Pete is going to get annihilated pretty much. 112 to 91 there. Pistol Pete Maravich, 22 points. Gail Goodrich, 20 points. Great backcourt there, but they can't get it done. 35 points for Rick Barry. What a performance from him. And Jamal Wilkes also scoring big there. He had 28 points. He's playing pretty well. 28 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists for him with 3 steals. Uh, Clifford Ray also picking up a double-double. 16 points, 10 rebounds for him. Man, this guy Charles Dudley played well too. 11 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal. Pretty incredible. Yeah, good, good win for Golden State. Golden State continues to be a hot team. They're 14 and 3 now. Golden State 14 and 3. Alright, let's do Braves versus Rockets. And yeah, Braves are gonna uh pretty much annihilate them. It's not even fair. 115 to 69. Calvin Murphy leads the way for the Rockets. 22 points for him. Bob McAdoo, 37 points, 21 rebounds. It's crazy. We believe in better. Better care, better access, better offer. Randy Smith still contributing pretty well to this team. He had a big, big lead too. He had a big scoring night, 19 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. Adrian Dantley, 18 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. Moses Malone, 16 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists. Pretty incredible. Um. Hmm. 
can go here. Just want to check something. Um, let's see, position setting, CPU, no. Yeah, I have to approve a trade. Yeah. Actually, let me see something again. Let's see. the seventh is pretty much washed let's go to january 8th uh sun's timberwolves no 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 <clears throat> no uh trailblazers calves might be worthwhile let's take a look at this one Oh man, we got a close one. Let's go ahead and jump in. 88, 86. Trailblazers up by two. We'll get some more Bill Walton action here. Make sure this three point line is indeed off. And let's choose sides and we're ready to go. So 88, 86, Portland up by two. Outside, Davis. And it does look like Portland has the ball. Lucas kicks to Davis. Over Snyder. Midi by Davis. Good rebound by Bill Walton, though. What a snatch by Bill Walton. And he puts his team up by four. He's got 23 points in the game. Big Bill Walton. Let's go. Get that lead even bigger. They've got Brewer. The quick is up there with the quick. And it's Smith. And it's the quick in at the center position. All right, Smith looking for a play here. He gets fouled. And here's what the Cleveland Cavaliers schedule looks like on Sunday. And then on Tuesday, they'll defend home court against the Orlando Magic. And with the way they've been able to march right along in this season lately, I think they should be able to keep things going in this next stretch. Just come out with the same energy and discipline, and you should have some. All right, Smith, uh, second free throw Cleveland. good. Well, and Cleveland is within quick, two again. And, for Walker. and Blazers like are going to bring the ball up. The we got to see a little bit of Bill Walton here. He's playing like an MVP, half. so we'll see if he keeps playing that way. Out to the right wing. Oh, Bill Walton midi. Ooh, Bill Walton with the smooth midi. He's got 13 points in just this quarter. Even with the D giving him a lot of attention, he's still finding ways to light him up. To the inside. Oh, down to Smith. Smith looking for a play here. Good. Through the hole, make him now seven of 13 in this game. He's wrapped Bingo Smith. He's got 18. When they're trailing. The pass to the quick. Bob Gross with the ball now, ditches it out to Davis. Oh, there we go, back to Bill Walton again. Bill Walton out to Swartzik. And it looks like the Blazers are in trouble because they don't have the ball at all. Midi. Ooh, Davis drilling the midi off the screen. And this team looking like they're ready for playoff basketball. Quick. Oh, down to Jones. Jones looking for a player. No good. Rebound by Walton. Walton 
Simmons got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeding. To the left side wing. Oh, Bob Gross looking for a main. play here. Oh, cut and by Lucas. And Lucas with the cut down low. And he's going to put them up by six. And Blazers showing why they are the more experienced basketball team. And they trail by six. 157 left to play in the final quarter. And now, let's present our new balance, player of the game. Yeah, player of the game is going to be Bill Walton. No surprises there. He's got 25 points, 12 of 20 shooting. At a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. Now, let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Oh, rebound by Bill Walton off the in and out by the Cavs. And I think this one's over. Great performance by the Blazers to close it out. Davis laying good. And I think that is about it. Cavs are looking a little terrible. Hey, Kevin, I chatted briefly with the head athletic trainer for the Cavaliers. I was told Ooh, Bill Walton with the block. Let's take a look at this. Bill Walton said, get out of here, Jones. So they're going to miss him while he's recovering from this injury. Kevin? Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know, uh, Greg, how he's doing. Yeah, when, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. Yeah, but fortunately, we know he's in good hands, so you hope to see him back on the court soon. Here's the quick. Passes it to the quick. Jones looking for a play here. Jones doubled. What defense by Bill Walton. Bill Walton showing why he is an MVP candidate. I love it right now. Bill Walton all over the place. Bill Walton hustling. And so here's Cleveland. Pocket four. Jones has to force it. He's not going to get that. And Bill Walton with a rebound. This is some great footage right here for us to see Bill Walton as a player. He's absolutely hustling right now. Bill Walton off the screen. Gets it out to Bob Gross. Bob Gross midi. No good. Cavs looking for a play here. Bill Walton hustles back. Almost gets another block. Holy cow. Bill Walton just all over the place. Altering everything. Oh man, Bob Gross right, walking out of bounds. That's kind of stupid. And so it's Cleveland with it. Inside. Oh, good steal by Bill Walton. Bill Walton is absolutely everywhere. This is incredible. Clocking game clock separated by less than six seconds. Pass to Davis. On the high post, they get the rebound to the right side. Here's the quick. Oh, Bob Gross off the screen. Right on the bucket. What a play by Bob Gross, putting insult to injury with a reversal. Pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. Let's uh, let's go ahead and hit this right here. And check the box score. So in the loss, uh, Campy Russell had 24 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists. He leaves the game with a bruised left knee. He had 3 steals as well. 19 points, 10 rebounds from Jones. 18 points, 4 rebounds from Bingo Smith. Um, and Bill Walton, 25 points, 16 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, 4 blocks. 16 points, 10 rebounds, 9 assists from Maurice Lucas. Almost getting a triple-double. 15 points for Larry Steele. Um, Blazers could, could win a championship here just like they did in real life. We'll see if that happens. Let's get back to January when we return. I will be right back. I need to go do something. Go to the bathroom. All right, so we go.
We are back. All right, let's keep it going. All right, let's see. Any other games? January 8th. Uh, this one doesn't matter. Pistons, Bucks. That could be a good one. Let's see if we can get some Bob Lanier on the screen. Looks like the Bucks are gonna get the win here. Uh, four points. It's rough. Yeah, it's still four points. Yeah, 104, 100. Bucks do get the win. Bob Dandridge, big in this one. 21 points, seven rebounds, nine assists for, for the young fella. John Jr. Bridgman, 19 points, nine rebounds, seven assists. Bob Lanier, 22 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, and 5 blocks in the loss. ML Carr had 18 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal. But a good win for the Bucks. I mean, that was a pretty big win for them. They go 8-8. Eight and eight. <sighs> Don't think there's anything else really to worry about on this one. Yeah, nothing else on January. So January 9th, um, Mavericks and Rockets doesn't matter. Nets and Knicks, Kings, Bullets. Let's do Nets, Nets and Knicks. I mean, it's a New York, New York game. We'll go ahead and watch this one. Shopping Publix with delivery and curbside pickup powered by Instacart makes... Oh, these teams are going at each other. Holy cow. It's just back and forth. Knicks have the lead. Going into the fourth. Nets are right there with them, though. Knicks taking off a little bit. Now, Nets, Nets back in it. But then they fall again. Uh, four points. <sighs> yeah, it's hard to get a jump. Oh. Oh, 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 we got to jump in. 88-86. Nets took the lead right at the end. We got to jump in on this one. All right. Uh, all right, let's go to game rules. Uh, let's turn three-point line off. 
We'll stay neutral. All right, Knicks inbounding the ball. They are down by two to the Nets. Time call here. The Knicks decide. Knicks to call timeout. They got 54 seconds left two. to try to get something on the board here. Seconds left in the fourth quarter. points for Nate Archibald in this effort is putting the Nets up. Earl Monroe with the ball, trying to get the Nets back, the Knicks back in this one, trying to tie it up. He gets it over to Shelton. Back out to Earl Monroe. Monroe has to shoot a long three. What a terrible possession by the Knicks there. Great defense by the Nets. Nate Archibald with the pass down to Hawkins. Hawkins. No good. Great defense by Haywood. Way, no, way to not foul there. All right, Knicks bringing the ball up. They get it down to Monroe. Monroe double out to McMillan. Earl Monroe again. Oh, quick. Oh, no. In and out. Oh, man. Knicks tried to tie it. They can't tie it. And this is going to be an important win for the Knicks. The Knicks, I mean the Nets. The Nets beat the Knicks. That's pretty heartbreaking. What a game there, 90-96, and that's going to be it. We'll go ahead and ride out this point three seconds just because it doesn't matter. This game is a wrap. Well, I think he might just want to remind these guys, hey, let's finish the game the right way. Nothing you can do here. Layton throws up a three. Can't get it. Yeah, let's take a look at this. So, Spencer Haywood for the Knicks dominates. He had 33 points, 14 rebounds. It looks like Earl Monroe also had 22 points, 5 assists. Um, but unfortunately, Walt Frazier... Ends the game with nine points, two rebounds, six assists, and a broken left ankle, which is very, very unfortunate for the Knicks. Um, and Nate Archibald, the guy they owe the victory to, he scores 31 points, two rebounds, eight assists, two steals in the game. Bubbles Hawkins, 19 points. John Williamson, 18 points. What a comeback for the Nets. They get it done. Walt Frazier with an injury, tons of news from that game. So I'm glad we jumped into that game because that was really huge for us. Um, we got Walt Frazier with an injury. That's probably our biggest injury of the year right now. All right, so that's going to put the Nets at 7-9. and nine. So they're still if they're still hanging in there. Uh, Kings Bullets. So that was the TV game of the week. Um, so let's go ahead and sim through that one. Kings Bullets, since it's a TV game. Bullets taking the lead in, on the Kings. And it looks like the Bullets pretty much got this one under control. Yeah, it's over. 104-88, good win for the Bullets. Elvin Hayes, 24 points, 13 rebounds in the effort. 17 points for this guy, um, Kupchak. Mitch Kupchak. He was a 13th overall pick last year. Interesting. Okay. We putting in some buckets. 17 points for him. Um, they might be starting to put him in for Wes Unsell because he didn't do much. He had 13 rebounds. We had another injury here, unfortunately. Um, for the Kings, uh, whew, I'm going to sneeze. For the Kings, uh, Ron Boone, 
continues to be on fire. 29 points for him. He's averaging 25 on the season with 6.6 rebounds per game, 3.9 assists per game, and a steal and a half a game. So pretty good season for Ron Boone so far. Um, Scott Wedman contributing as well. He had 23 points, seven rebounds in the loss effort. Those two guys can't get it done for the Kings, but the Kings still look like a good team. Bullets are now nine and five, so they're, they're doing pretty well. Uh, let's check out this Nuggets and Suns game. I just want to see more David Thompson for sure. And it's close going into the half. Nuggets are up by just a little bit. Suns still in this game though. And David Thompson and the Nuggets, I think, got this one done. They're up by 13, 10. Yeah, it's over. 103.95. Great win for the Nuggets. David Thompson, 27 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 steals. Issel had 16 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Uh, Gus Gerard also contributing. He had 16 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 4 steals, and 2 blocks. Um, Alvin Adams leads the way for the Suns. He had 22 points, 13 rebounds, fourth overall pick in 1975, um, playing center power forward. Westfall had 18 points. So Suns still missing some pieces, but good win for David Thompson and company. Uh, thank you for liking the stream, Jacqueline. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, and that one doesn't matter. So we're going to go January 10th. Nets, Cavs. Uh, let's check the Nets and Cavs game. Let's see if uh, Nate Archibald can keep that uh, the momentum rolling. And it looks like he can't. He's going to get beat by a decent Cavs team here. Yep, 93-77, 19-10 for Bingo Smith. Chones had 18 points, 13 rebounds. Roland Garrett contributing with 17 points of his own. Nate Archibald had 20 points, 3 rebounds, 6 assists, and not much other help. So we'll just keep it moving there. Um, let's see. The, we'll do King Celtics. This will be a good one. Celtics look like they're going to get it done against the Kings this time around. 99-76, they do get it done. Uh, Jojo White, 22 points, 13 assists. He's a star in this league. He's averaging 22.3 a game, 10.6 assists per game. That's how you point guard in 1977. 18 points, 17 rebounds for uh, Dave Cowens. Still showing that he's a stud. Not much going for the Kings there. Uh, good win for the Celtics. They're 13-3 and three now. Oh man, Trailblazers and Bulls. Okay, so this is a game we have to check out for sure, for sure. Uh, Bill Walton versus Artis Gilmore. These two guys are going to go at it. You know it to be true. And I was right. Look at this back and forth, back and forth into the third quarter. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right, Bulls are pulling out the lead. Unfortunately, we might not get to jump into this one, but it looks like it was a great game. You know what? You know what? You know what? We're going to jump in. It's a three-point game, 433 left. We're going to jump in early. We're going to cut this music because this is important. We're going to make sure... 
that the three-point line is certainly turned off. We're going to do this game the right way. And then we're going to make sure that we are neutral here. All right. So, Bulls versus the Blazers. Two of the best teams in the league right now. Bill Walton puts it up. He got blocked by Johnson. We've got Johnson, and it's Gilmore. And so the Bulls looking for a play here. Bam, they are on a run. 116, 111, four minutes and 15 seconds left. Bulls looking nice. Blazers in trouble. Portland does call the timeout. That's great timing there. And there's an excited artist Gilmore on the screen for you. Bill Walton going to go try to figure this out. And now let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game. Player of the Game, no surprises here. Artist Gilmore is your player of the game. He had 34 in this game. He averages 25 a game right now. He puts up 34 against Bill Walton, one of the best centers in the league, other than himself. Davis looking for a play here. He gets it down to Twardzik. Out to Gross. Bob Gross looking to push the issue. Step back. No. Can't get free. He has to get out to Davis. And Blazers have to force it here. Ugh. Bill Walton was in a position to get that rebound. He just couldn't get over to it. What a cut. Holland. No good. Lucas kind of interfered with that shot a little bit. Bob Gross. Out to Davis. What a cut by Twardzik. Great cut. Dave Twardzik, seven points in the game. Seeing that a lot of the attention was on Bill Wall, and he cuts that way and is wide open. Poor communication defensively. Time called here. The All right, so Portland puts themselves back within three. These are two teams that definitely know what they're doing. Bill Walton taking a breather there. The dunk contest, you've got Fred Carter, Julius Irving, David Thompson, and Lionel Holland. We might have to check that out. getting set higher. I mean, more props, crazier concepts to the competition. The level of dunks. I think this is going to be a good one. Take a look at the quick. And I oh, what a pass to Marin. Marin down low, dunking it. You hope for from a dunk contest participant. He sure does. Lots of competition. And so all of a sudden, Chicago year. back up by five. Blazers got to get their defensive game on wrap. Steal. Cut. And he gets fouled hard, so he doesn't get any prayer of a shot. But he will go to the line. Steal looking like he got to shake that off. This is going to be one of those dunk contests that everybody's going to be tuning into. And that one misses. And he misses the first shot, so that's a big missed free throw. We haven't seen a missed free throw in a while. Steal. Second free throw. Good. So that's going to put Portland back within four. That's going to hurt him. Van Leer out to Marin. Down to Johnson. Johnson with the lay-in, and it's good. So Bulls are just really efficient right now. Ricky Johnson, Mickey Johnson, 12 points for him. Putting in some solid uh, contributions for the team. Okay, here we go. First Bill Walton possession we saw. And he immediately dishes it back out. Wow, what a block by Johnson. That's the second big jump block we've seen by Johnson right there. Boom. You've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time. Mickey Johnson dominating right there. And Blazers just really have the clock working against them. They can't get a good offensive possession. What a pass by what a pass by Bill Walton down the to towards it. Force him to the line. And so towards it, the only thing keeping them in this one right now. He has seven points, two of those in the last couple minutes. His free throw is good. I like that they haven't lost their aggressive. Second free throw is good. So he puts them within four again. Decide to talk it over. Well, it's a player's league, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. All right, so Bulls and company inbounding the ball, trying to get back Chicago into this one. Four. We'll see if they can. Here's the quick. 
pass to Holland on the wing Johnson. Oh, and what a steal by, by the Blazers, and the Blazers have a real opportunity here. Here's Bob the Gross midi, no and good. I don't know why he shot that. Eight for 12 from the floor. To the left wing. Here's the quick. Pass to Gilmore. Johnson right side. Solid play in the low block and that one. Johnson scored. with the lay in. Johnson's been the, the star of this fourth quarter. And it looks like uh, Chicago's probably gonna get the win here. Both teams trying to close out. I'm a little surprised by that outcome, but not too surprised. Passes it to Walton. Alright, Bill Walton on artist Gilmore. He gets Lucas doubled. Lucas gets free down to Bill Walton who does find himself free again so I love the idea there the offensive idea to kind of get Bill Walton open and he makes his first free throw so they're within five one minute 35 seconds left I don't know if they're gonna be able to get much it looks like Bill Walton's hurt a little bit yeah he's got a little hurt hip or something time called here the Bulls decide to talk it over they're leading by four. There's a minute 34 left in the fourth quarter. There's Big Daddy. All right, Marin bringing the ball up. Johnson off the screen. Bulls There's just need to keep getting buckets. Gilmore was open off the screen. Yep, and Gilmore with the easy tap back, and that's probably it. It's about a six-point game right now. Uh, I think they just reported that Artis Gilmore has 36 points. That's pretty incredible. Oh, down to Bill Walton. Bill Walton hook. Gilmore interferes with it, and Johnson pushing the issue. He's in takeover mode, and he's going to go all the way. Yep. And, uh, yeah, I think this one's pretty much over. Put the game away. And he's doing it but this was a good battle. We'll spots. probably and see this in the playoffs. We could. This is a West Coast matchup, so we could see this in the West Coast playoff bracket. Bulls Blazers. That could be a West. Oh, what a pass to Johnson! Good defense by Maurice Lucas, though. They are well matched. Torzik really working hard down low. He's drawing fouls. I mean, Torzik is really working hard right now. Nine points. About three or four of those coming here at the end of the game. He gets his tenth point. And he makes both of those free throws. So, Blazers within six points. And they're going to have to start intentionally fouling. And I think Marin's going to hit this one. And he is. We're going to get out of here. On that note, it's just going to be a free throw competition from here on out. 130 to 122, Bulls win. Artis Gilmore, 36 points, 14 rebounds, one assist, two steals, and five blocks. Uh, Bob Love, 23 points, five rebounds. Jack Marin, 17 points as well. Larry Steele, 23 points for... The Blazers, Bill Walton, 22 points and 11 rebounds with 9 assists, almost a triple-double. Um, 16 points, 10 rebounds, 8 assists for Maurice Lucas. So two, two guys almost have a triple-double and they still can't get it. Bob Gross contributes 16 of his own. So yeah, just an unfortunate loss there. We'll try to figure out what happened to Bill. So the Bulls, 18-0, and 0, yet to lose a game. <laughs> oh, my God. The Bulls are undefeated, dude. The Bulls are undefeated, man. The Bulls are undefeated, dude. Like, y'all, the Bulls are undefeated. They can't be beat. They're 18-0. and 0. They're perfect. All right. Any other games we want to see? I think we did want to see Jazz, Milwaukee. Go ahead and check this one out.
All right, so Jazz and Bucks. There's a little bit of back and forth. Jazz kind of pushing the issue though. It's close though. Wow, yeah, I just had trouble scoring there for a second. Oh yeah, 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 we're gonna jump in. 105, 103, we've got another one to jump into. We'll get some Pistol Pete action on the screen for you guys. Um, let's make sure the three point line is off. And we are neutral. All right, so here we go. 105, 103, Jazz. We're up by two against the Bucks. Bridgman inbounds the ball. Looks like we got Gail Goodrich. I don't see Pistol Pete. All right, we got Alex English on Goodrich. That's a great matchup right here. Two of the elite guards in the league. Oh, what a steal by Gail Goodrich. And Gail Goodrich steals from the young fella and said, this is my league still, buddy. And he gets the and one, so that's pretty important there. Gail Goodrich with an and one opportunity here. And it looks like we might get Pistol Pete back in the game. Nope, we don't. It looks like Pistol Pete may have fouled out. All right, Junior Bridgman bringing the ball up for the Bucks. He gets it out to Brian Winters. He's covered by Goodrich. Out to Buckner. Back to Bridgman, over to Winters. Winters, long range shot, and he hits it. You don't see too many of these. My man's got 24. In the right place. Both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. It's going to be a high scoring affair tonight. And the Jazz call time here. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a All right, so the like player of the game actually is Pistol reset. Pete Maravich. 34 points for him, 12 of 20 shooting on the night. Pete Maravich. And it's been a um, And just so we're clear, let's just make sure we uh, know what's going on with him. Let's check the box score. He has three fouls. They're just not putting him in right now. It's really in the weird. Best okay. Sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working, and no matter what they thrown at him, he's had the answer. Oh boy, Mitty doesn't get it. He had Coleman off the roll, didn't take it. Junior Bridgman pushing the issue, and that is going to put them back in it. 108 107 milwaukee's still in this game why don't they have pete in the game they need to get my man pete in the game suit this man up suit him up kevin and the jazz call time here all right timeout by the jazz they're only up by two now Pistol Pete's still out. I don't know what they're doing here. This seems like just bad coaching. And so here is New Orleans. Oh, what a pass to Goodrich. Goodrich open. Brian Winters is over pursuing the pass. 27 points for Gail Goodrich. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting certainly a key for them in this one. 55% from the field. Timeout called the Bucks. And they're picking up a lot of fouls. All right, Bucks called timeout down by penalty, three. 219 left. To focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. Did they this man like a, a one point shot? Right wing. All right, Junior Bridgman looking for a play here. To the paint. Down to Winters. Winters up with it. No good. Gail Goodrich picks one up. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim. So Winters has a chance to put this team back in it. He's been a leader for this Bucks franchise. Puts it up. And makes the first, and makes the in. second, so they're only time. down by one. Twice before sending him to the line again, he gets locked in when the game gets close. Here's the quick. Coleman looking for a play here. Here's the quick. Coleman, oh no, Coleman chokes the lay-in. And so they're doing it without Pistol Pete right now. This is really weird. Is there drama with this franchise right now? I don't know. Bridgman down to Nader. This is do or die for the Bucks. Bucks looking for a play here. Nader thought about it. But they pause back out. Bridgman, Junior Bridgman, one on one. 
They have to shoot a crazy shot. Good rebound by Boyd. Bad bounce there for the Bucks. And Boyd pushing the issue. 122 left here in the fourth quarter. Outside Williams. Out to Williams. Williams shoots. No good. Moore back up. Bam. And that's a big bucket for the Jazz. That put back there by Moore. Huge. You can see the coaching staff rise up and clap for that effort. Timeout called the Bucks. They're trailing by three. 112 left in the fourth quarter. Winters looking for a play down to Buckner. Buckner had a man off a roll. Doesn't take it. Bridgman, Mitty, no good. Moore with the big rebound, and it looks like he's going to be the clutch up dude for the team. Leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shoot. 53 seconds left in the fourth. Over to oh, the pass over to Boyd. Boyd looking for a play here. He has to force a midi. Can't get it. Good rebound by Myers. And Bucks need a quick bucket here so they can get another possession in. And they do. Winters with the dunk down. And they are tied. Or they're not tied, but they're down by one. And they get one possession left. They get at least one more possession. So great situation for the Bucks. They got to play great defense here. And they can win this game. Gail Goodrich, that's the man you want with the ball. Ooh! Gail Goodrich just put the moves on the squad, bruh. This man put the moves on. 27 points for him. That's 28. And he handles it. That's good stuff. Both at the line, and it's a three-point game. Well, important there to have the three-point lead because only a three can tie it up now. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're down by three. There's 25 seconds left in the game. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. All right, Bridgman looking down low. Bridgman, no good. Here's out Buckner. to Buckner. Buckner all the way, no, Nader with the rebound, he gets it, and so Milwaukee back within one point, what a play there, what a play there, and Milwaukee has definitely gave, given the Jazz everything that they can give. Jazz are up by one, probably going to get fouled here, Boyd's going to take the free throws. If he misses any of these, you're going to wonder why Pistol Pete was not in the game. So we'll see. Hits the first. That's a great free throw. Hits the second. So great free throws there by Boyd. And Buckner bringing the ball up for the Bucks. And they have to hit it. Yeah, there's no three-point line, so it's over. What a game, though. So Bob Dandridge leading the way for the Bucks. He had 32 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, 1 steal, 2 blocks, 28 points for Brian Winters, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals. Um, Pete Maravich had 34 points, 7 rebounds, 13 assists, 3 steals. That's an MVP game right there. He's, he had three, he had four three-pointers. It's crazy because they shoot threes. Ugh. Gail Goodrich had 29 points, seven assists. So, I mean, really, like, no one else shoots threes, right? Like, no one else shoots threes. It's just kind of crazy that they just have the ability to do it. So, they do it. I'll be right back, guys. Oh, no.
All right, I am back. All right, we, we've only been a few weeks into January, but it's been fun, it's been really fun. Um, we definitely wanted to do Spurs, Lakers. Okay, Lakers got up to nine and seven, so they're not sucking as bad as they were in the beginning of the season. And it looks like it's close, so George Gervin trying to get a win over the Lakers. Lakers trying to show that they belong in this league. Oof. Oof, we got to jump in. 85-83. We have to jump in and see if Kareem can do the impossible. And it looks like he's on the line right now, actually. So we're going to go to turn off the three-point line. And then we will also make sure that we're neutral here. All right, so Kareem Abdul-Jabbar going to the line, trying to get his team within one, it looks like. He's got one more free throw. And he nails the free throw. So what an important play by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar there. 57 seconds left. And the Spurs are up by one. I don't see George Gervin on the court, so that's not a good sign for them. Good rebound by Kareem. And the Lakers have a chance. The Lakers have a chance. They're playing a spread ball. Tatum puts up a wild shot. Ah, Washington has to tip it out of bounds. And Spurs get the ball. Good effort for the rebound, though. Every possession. A different look now for San Antonio. The quick, he's checked in for the quick. And Gervin All right, so George Gervin comes back in the in the nick of time. The 40 seconds for left here. San Antonio up, up by one. I think we'll but a very determined the Lakers ball club here. Wow. They called They called him for the – I thought it was a foul. They called him for the travel. George Gervin travels. He did some wild stuff trying to get a finger roll. Here we go, Allen with the ball. And a good timeout by the Lakers. This is do or die for them. They can get the lead. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. George Gervin is your player of the game. 27 points, 11 of 16 shooting. Has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's All right, they get it out to Allen. Oh, yeah, Kareem open. Kareem got stripped. Kareem got stripped by Gale. What a defensive play. Holy cow. Can we get an instant replay of that? Yeah, we got we got to get a replay of this. This was insane. This was absolutely insane. All right. So not a lot of time. Off the timeout. Lakers inbound the ball to number 14. And as soon as he dribbles to the right, Kareem goes on a roll. Gale has to catch up. Switch from his man. You see that switch there. And here we go, Kareem settles his feet, has to go up. What a smart move by Gale to just put his hand down on the ball instead of trying to put his hands up. And he gets a perfect steal. What a, I mean, just what a play. What a play. That was incredible. Tatum fouls out. Gervin on the line. And they're shouting MVP for George Gervin. Man, unique as a score and one of the tougher covers ever. And Gervin does hit both, so that's probably going to put the game without reach for the the Lakers. Three points clear. Looking to tie it up with a big triple. You don't want to force it though. Still need to get a quality look. Here's Allen. Oh, Allen, good play there. He almost got an and one. So Allen almost went all the way. Lu Lucius Allen, six points on the night. Big free throws for him here. Makes the first one. The layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throw. <laughs> 
For some reason, my game's frozen. I don't know why. It's just like weird. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was so weird. Allen, second shot, good. They put a lot of drama on that shot. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They're up by one. 12 seconds left to play in the final quarter. All right, 86-87, San Antonio up by one point. 12 seconds left. Lakers are going to have to foul again. And they do. So they're hoping for a missed free throw here. This is a situation where Spurs do have to make both free throws. Another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hand. First shot, good. Clutch free throw there by Gale, the guy who got that clutch steal as well. And he hits both of those. This fan deserves the MVP honors for this game, for sure. And Allen bringing the ball up. Seven seconds left for the Lakers. It's Allen on the win. And Allen trying to get a foul. He can't get the foul. Good effort by the Lakers. But they are not going to get it done. Let's check a look at the box score here, guys. George Gervin, 29 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists in the win. Larry Keenan, 18 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 28 points, 20 rebounds in the effort. They can't get it done. They tried, but they did not succeed. Unfortunate for the Lakers. And that's going to put them at 9 and 8, unfortunately. And I think that's going to be it for January 10th. We're going to keep it moving. Yeah, Golden State we're not worried about. Let's go to the 11th. What do we got here? Nuggets and Bullets. I'm about this game right here. Bullets and Nuggets. Let's take a look at this. It's a close one. Going into the fourth, we got another close game here. David Thompson against the Bullets. Wes Unseld, Elvin Hayes, all those guys. I think we're going to jump. We're going to go ahead and jump in. It's a three-point game. All right, we're going to go ahead and make sure that our three-point line is off. And we want to make sure that we are neutral here. All right, here we go. So it looks like Denver's on the line, unfortunately. So Denver can push this lead out. 345 left. Williams shot good. 103 to 99. That'll help them seal the Bullets are finding and themselves down. So Williams out there. Elvin and Hayes kick out Jones, the right. And it's Issel in at the power forward position. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Down Here's to Kupchik. Kupchik with the screen. Nice ball movement by Washington. Elvin and Hayes out to Robinson. Out to Kupchik. Out to Robinson. Robinson Biddy. Good step up. Good and rebound of his own. He tries to go back up and gets blocked. And that's unfortunate. Here's David Thompson. Thompson's open. He gets stopped. Webster passes to Thompson. That's pretty unfortunate for David Thompson there. We haven't seen much of him in this simulation yet, but we know he's there. Oh, Webster, come on. Elvin Hayes got schooled there. It's kind of unfortunate. Marvin Webster, 12 points. don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. Washington calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. All right, so player of the game, definitely going to be David Thompson. No surprises there. He scores 23 points on the night. He's averaging a 35 on the season, which is unheard of. Robinson, good positioning in the post, just bullies David Thompson. That's what you got to do to get back in this game here. 105-101, Washington back within four, and Denver calls timeout. There you got a shot of David Thompson. We have to do it as a team. 
We have to rely on one another, trust one another, and help one another. Let's go get this. Kevin, back to you. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. On defense, Washington. Oh, Issel tries to force a good defense by Robinson. And Bullets have a chance to get back into it. Here we go. Washington looking for a play here. Kick out the right. Out to Greavy. Here's the quick. Oh, what composure there by Washington. Greavy getting the bucket. Ten points for him. As it gets. Coach trusts him to make when he plays down the stretch. I mean, because he's shown that ability time and time. All right, Washington within two. Wes Unseld steps up, stops that shot. Right, looking around. Right, looking to Unseld, out to Jones. Jones out to right. Screen, all the way. Buckets, let's get it. Let's Great get it. What a play there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And we're tied. 105-105. Washington's back in it. David Thompson. What composure by David Thompson. And he gets his team back in it. 25 points for him on the night. Robinson has 20. All right. Bullets. Still trying to get in this game. Robinson taking over. Good use of his body again, but he can't get it done. I love the way he played that, though. I love the way he played that. All right, David Thompson trying to get a dagger bucket here. Can he do it? Woo! What a move. My man is showing next level moves here. And he's going to go to the line. He doesn't get the lay-in, but great, great athleticism. 26 points, 7 assists right now for David Thompson. And they're chanting MVP for him. The Nuggets making a change here. Jones has checked in. And so both free throws are good. And it's a four-point ball game. Wrong guy to put on. All right, so right, bringing the ball up for the Bullets. They are in trouble. Down by four all of a sudden again. 111 left. They can come back, but they got to start now. Robinson does get a good drive, and he's going to go to the line for two. He's playing pretty well right now. Bucket for him, 21 points, 8 rebounds for him in this game. They don't call him truck for no reason. Man is literally playing like a truck. It's pretty incredible. Alright, here we go. Thompson bringing the ball up. What a pass by David Thompson! My man is distributing. He's scoring. He's dribbling. The man is the all-in-one NBA phenom that we wanted to see. Down to John Robinson. Robinson said, I'm still here. And he's going back to the line. So Truck Robinson, 22 points, 4-4 from the free throw line. Can he keep up the streak with his free throws? First shot. Good. He does. This is the Truck Robinson, David Thompson show right now. Truck Robinson's second free throw is good. And Washington back within two. 51 seconds left. Here comes David Thompson. Oh, what a pass! <laughs> we got to replay that. We got to replay that because this is incredible. This is like, I'm so happy with how this is playing out. Like, this is incredible. All right, so let's zoom out. All right, so he's dribbling up. He's, he's just pretty much bodied this man off the dribble. He sees the cut happening, and he just kind of skips it in. Like, that's crazy. Like, hold on, let's go. Can I lower this? Yeah. Like, look at this. Like, he sees, they just see that this is about to happen. So he just, dunk. That's incredible. And one, two. And you can't get a bigger Thompson and Issel. You love to see the combination. Two great teammates right there. Trying to lead the Nuggets to a championship. Can they do it? And with this kind of gameplay, they certainly will. 114-109. Denver is now leading. This is where all the hard work pays off. You have to be able all right, to right. Looking for a play here for the Washington. Greavy down low. Blocked by Issel. Great block by Issel, and that's going to end the game pretty much, I think. David Thompson going on the line for two, and they're chanting MVP for this man, and he certainly is in the running, so we'll see if he earns it. And he has both free throws. 
good lead is even better with excellent work at the start. Washington calls timeout. And I think this one's over. Good win for the Nuggets, though. Oof. Bullets came back, but they couldn't get it done. David Thompson, 29 points, 7 rebounds, 9 assists, 2 steals and a block, almost a triple-double. Issel with 25 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. He's averaging 21 a game this season. This duo is probably one of the scariest duos in the league right now. Um, Truck Robinson, 24 points, 9 rebounds, 15 points, 11 rebounds for Elvin Hayes. Kupchik had 15 Elvin Hayes averaging 21 a game this season at 31 years old. All right, let's keep it moving. That was exciting. That was a fun one. I don't think there's any other games I want to see on the 11th. Uh, let's go to the 12th. Um, let's go ahead and hit this music too. All right. Uh, Nets Celtics Probably not important game. Jazz Pacers, maybe? Maybe Jazz Pacers? Yeah, let's check it out anyway. Jazz Pacers. Pistol Pete's going off this year, so any game we can get of him would be good. We didn't get to see him play a lot, but Gail Goodrich held it down. Pacers are actually going to win this game, though. Pretty impressive there. Uh, let's see, Dan Roundfield leading the, leading the team with 16. Pistol Pete, 32 points, 3 rebounds, 9 assists. Man is 29 years old, dominating the league, 11.1 .1 assists per game, 28 points per game. But good win for the Pacers, they just played team basketball, got the win. Uh, let's see, Kings and 76ers. I really want to get as many Julius Irving games on the screen as I can. So hopefully we can get a Julius game here. Kings are pretty good though. Ugh, and they're just handling the 76ers. Yeah, 114.96. Julius Irving does put in 31 points in the effort. But uh, Ron Boone, he's been killing it this season. 24 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. 20 points for Brian Taylor, 7 rebounds, 13 assists for him. Good win for the Kings. Bad news for 76ers. They're now 9-9. Nine and nine. Kings are 9-8. and eight. Um, Let's see. Bucks versus Atlanta. I think it's a worth worthwhile game to check out, but let's see anything sooner than that No, nope. we'll just go ahead and check this one out Bob Dandridge Alex English um, John Drew But it looks like the Bucks came to play They're gonna go ahead and handle business 93 71 there Bridgman 22 points winters 21 points Junior Bridgman, Brian Winters, 17 points, 6 rebounds, 11 assists for Bob Dandridge. Lou Hudson at 16, John Drew had 15 points, 14 rebounds. So Bucks go 9-9. Nine and nine. Ooh, Warriors versus Bulls. Now this is a potential playoff matchup. Um, Bullets and Suns, I don't know that I want to see... Yeah, we're just going to go Bulls Warriors. Oh, my light turned out. Hold on. Let me fix that. Um, let's see. The question would be, where the fuck is the controller? All right, we got our light fixed. Cool. All 
All right, so Rick Barry versus Artis Gilmore and company. I believe the Bulls are still undefeated. So can they get beat tonight? Let's see. It looks like they don't want to get beat. We got to jump in. 89-89. 89-89. We're going to go ahead and jump in here. All right, the three-point shots are off. We're going to choose sides here. Here we go. All right. Artis Gilmore trying to defend his undefeated record against Rick Barry and the Warriors. What a lay-in by the Bulls. Very, very efficient. All right, so Chicago goes up by two. All right, here we go. Rick Barry. We haven't seen much of him this season. He's kind of on his way out, but can we see some legendary performances from him? I don't know. So three-second call. Golden State had a man in the paint. Ooh. 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 Artis Gilmore versus Bill Walton. The rematch. Let's get it. All right, Mengelt bringing the ball up. He gets it down to love. What a strip by Rick Barry. What an absolute boss of a play there. And Parker is going to get the and one. What a play. And now Parker has a chance to get his team back up. And can Golden State take out the Bulls? Can they get the Bulls their first loss here in Golden State? All right, well, we'll see. Van Leer with the ball. Bulls need a bucket here. They get it out to Artis Gilmore. Down to Johnson. Johnson, no good, but gets his own rebound and puts it back in. That's pure hustle right there. And that's why and this team is undefeated right now. 93-92, Chicago up against Golden State. Rick Barry off the pick. Rick Barry steps in the lane, buckets. And they're going to get another and one off the drive. Rick Barry, 28 points, 13 of 16 with three steals. Rick Barry playing like a legend that he already is. And they're chanting MVP for Rick Barry. Everybody get an MVP chance today, baby. Chicago calls timeout. The quick with a strong contribution so far in this one. Good decision to recap. So Rick Barry with the free throw over. puts Your his team up by two. Now is how to slow this guy down on the offensive end. Player of the game, of course, is Rick Barry. He now has 29 on the night. He's averaging 21 and a half on the season. Norm Van Leer bringing the ball up for the Bulls. He kicks it out to Marin. Marin off a screen. He's got Johnson down low. Johnson almost got it stolen by Rick Barry, but he picks it back up and puts it in. What a battle by Rick Barry to try to steal that ball. Both guys just battling for the basketball. And this is a classic matchup right here. Warriors shooting it well here in the fourth quarter, 50%. Smith kicks to Williams. Pass to Ray. Oh, Ray bringing the ball up. Ray from the baseline. Baseline jumper, no good. Van Leer with an amazing rebound, and Holland pushing the issue using his speed, and he dunks over everybody. I did not see that Chicago up by two and showing why they certainly are one of the elite teams in the NBA right now and why they're undefeated. Artis Gilmore's been quiet here. Golden State needs a bucket here. And they're looking for it all the way. Almost another and one. Smith driving to the basket pretty hard there, but he can't get it in. He will get some free throws though. 
Bill Smith gets around the corner, puts in the finger roll, gets fouled on the way, can't get it in, but he will get some free throws here. All right, so first free throw by the Warriors is good. Is good and that narrows the gap to one. Second free throw by the Warriors, so good. So we're tied, 97, 97, a minute, 50 seconds, 56 seconds left. This game is nowhere close to over. There's Artis Gilmore cheering on his teammates. There's Rick Barry, two stars of the team right there. All right, so the Bulls inbounding the ball. The quick pass to Big Daddy. They get it down to Marin. Marin looking for a play here. Screen from Artis Gilmore. And it's a good screen, but Artis Gilmore dunks it back down after the missed layup. And we have Gilmore in the building. Gilmore has signed into the chat, and he has put his team up by two. Ray down low on Artis. Artis hands up. He's in trouble. Good no foul by Artis Gilmore there. And Artis Gilmore pushes the issue. Oh, dump down to Holland. Holland looking for a play here. Artis Gilmore. Wow. What a play by Artis Gilmore. He just got hacked by three people. Check this out. Jump step. Surrounded by three, goes up with it, is fouled. They put three men on him to try to stop him, and they can't stop him. So he's going to go to the line and make his first free throw. And he's going to make both of his free throws. So huge free throws there for Artis Gilmore. And he puts his team up by four. That might have been the break they needed. Golden State desperately needs a bucket here. They get it back down to Ray, and Artis Gilmore this time does get tagged with a foul, but still showing how imposing he can be on defense. Clifford Ray, only six points on the night, getting locked up by Gilmore. And he is going to miss the free throw, so it looks like the wind is out of Golden State sails, and it looks like what could have been a breaking of the streak is actually not going to be that. Possession, but that miss puts a lot of pressure on their defense. Oh, what a play by Norman Van Leer stepping through, and Love got the rebound. So, unfortunately, it just looks like the energy is out of the tank for the Golden State Warriors. Oh, what a play, Ray. No, Ray got behind Artis Gilmore. And he puts his team within three. Artis Gilmore possibly thinking about that foul he had accumulated earlier. Van Leer, what a draw foul there. Norm Van Leer on the line for two. First shot's good. Chicago up by four. That was the free throw they needed. And this is icing on the cake right here. And he hits both, so Chicago up by five. Thanks good work at the line there. Now we have a two-possession ball game. Outside Williams to the paint. Oh, dang. Ray. What a block by Artis Gilmore. And Artis Gilmore just won the game for them. He just said, get out my face. Dang. Yeah, Norm Van Leer on the line for two again. Two buckets there. And I tell you what, man. I tell you what, Artis Gilmore said, I'm going to stay undefeated for now, brother. Rick Barry looking disappointed. This one's pretty much over. What's your take, guys? And I don't think they'll be able to climb out of this hole. I just think they have to focus on the moment. Don't worry about the score. Worry about executing the next play. Damn, he airballed too, bro. Yeah, well, he's gonna have <laughs> some explaining to do on. Yeah, we go, we go, we go, we gonna ride out on that one. He just airballed that shoes. 109-102, great win for the Bulls. 29 points for Rick Barry, like we said in the effort. 20 points here for Jamal Wilkes. 11th overall pick in 1974. He's averaging 24 a game this season. Key piece of this offense. 
And, of course, Phil Smith putting up uh, 17. That's about his average on the season. He had nine rebounds, five assists. So good outing from him. But Artis Gilmore is going to put up 30 points, 20 rebounds. Wilbur Holland had 23 points of his own. So good good stuff from him. Um, Mickey Johnson, 10 and 10. Yeah, just a really good performance by them. And we're going to ride out another Bulls win. And the Bulls are 19 and oh, the only undefeated team in the NBA. And they're playing like they're on fire, even in difficult situations. You love to see it. All right, so that takes us to. I think that's it, right? Like, that's... Yeah, that's it. We're going to go January 14th. I want the Bulls Trailblazers game. <laughs> All right, here we go. Celtics Nets, probably not important. Bucks vs. Cavaliers could be a good game. All right, so Bucks Cavaliers, two very decent teams facing off against each other. Very low scoring game. We might have a jump in here. Yeah, we do. 69-67 Bucks in the lead. All right, we're going to make sure the three-point line is off here. We've had so many jumps. This has been fun. This has been really fun. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn this off, guys, and we are going to be neutral, and we're going to take a look at this game. All right, so Bucks are up by two. They have the ball against the Cavs. They get it down to Dandridge. Bob Dandridge with the midi. That's a way to jump in. 71-67. Bucks now up by four. Original two-way players, Dandridge, quick and fluid right there from mid-range. They've got the quick. Russell is out there with Smith. Then Jones. there's the quick, and it's Walker in at the out one. Walker. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Shot clock at six. Ooh. Doesn't go that time. And Milwaukee will come the other way. Bridgman pushing the ball up the court. Here's looking Bridgman. for a play here. Bridgman looking for a play here. No good. English kicked out. Bucks looking to further their lead. They get it down to Alex English. Alex English. Looking for something here fancy. Turnaround jumper. Wow. Alex English with the turnaround jumper. And it looks like Cleveland might actually lose this game. As you'll find. English is just as effective in transition as he is in the half court. That, that's one of the things you have to admire about it. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Good timing. They're really struggling offensively. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. Player of the game is going to be Brian Winters. Right still now. playing an integral role for this Cleveland. Bucks team. He's 19 Brewer points, 8 of 17 Russell. on the night. Just a little bit below his average, but he's contributing Walker. well tonight. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on J.B. Bickerstaff's huddle. All right, they get it down to Jones. Jones down low. What a post move. But what defense by Nader to kind of throw him off right at the end, even though he gave up a little bit of space in the paint. He reasserts his defensive position and stops that play. Good rebound by the Cavs. Nothing going there for the Bucks on that possession. That's a rush shot there by the Cavs. They should have dumped it down to Jones. They don't do it, though. And it looks like this one's all but over. Buckner looking for a play here. And he almost got that. Brewer's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Oh, what a pass to Jones. That was beautiful. So Jones trying to get his team back in it and and give him credit puts for his team back within four, I believe. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. 73-69. Oh, 
Bucks are up by four. They're coming in with the inbound pass off of the timeout. Bridgman, Junior Bridgman, looking for a play here off the screen. Over to Winters, Winters Smitty, no good. Good rebound by Brewer, having to fight for it just a little bit there. And Cavs push the issue down to Jones again. Jones is running the floor really well. And all of a sudden, we've got a two-point game. Jones has 24 points now. Oh, Jones picking up the foul there. It didn't look like much of a foul, but what a lay-in by Brian Winters. And that is probably going to be the dagger right there. Cavs had hope, and now they just lost it. What a lay-in by Brian Winters. Jones off the roll again, and they just cannot stop him off this roll. And that puts them within three. And Brian Winters looking for a play again. They double him, Nader open, but he does get fouled. And he has to hit these three, he has to hit these free throws. And that's probably gonna ice the game for him right there. Bucks go up by four. Now they're up by five. And those free throws will mean a ton now. It makes it Cavs put up a good effort, but just not good enough. We've got 33 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Jones, proven that he is just like a solid contributor. He is back on the line, back down low, going to work. And he makes the first free throw. That was a weird, glitchy free throw. And his second shot is good. So 75, 78, Jones puts it within three. 26 seconds left, so they will get the ball back at some point. But we'll see what they choose to do here on this defensive possession. They certainly could foul. I don't know that they will. Bucks inbound the ball. Crowded arena here. Bridgman looking for a play, so they're not going to foul. Here's Bridgman. <sighs> There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Six on the shot clock. Alex English has Jones on him. This is a good defensive matchup for them. And he gets eaten up. Good timeout for the Cavs. They have 2.7 seconds left. I don't think they can really win this game, though. Unfortunately, without the three-point line, they're in trouble. They've got enough time here to find a good look. They can run a play off the inbounds, make sure they get it in the hands of their best shooter. A three and nothing but a three will do here. You've got to keep your composure and execute to get a 78 75. Good win by the Bucks. Jones, Jim Jones, leading the way for the Cavs. Can't get it done, but he has 28 points, 13 rebounds, and two blocks in the contest. Um, Brian Winters, 22 points, 6 rebounds, 3 steals, 4 blocks. So, excellent game for him. And we are going to go back to the action. Alright, so let's see what we got going on here. We got some great games on the 14th. This is incredible. 76ers and Knicks, you know we want some... Julius action. Come on now. Give us some Julius. Julius in Madison Square Garden. I'm down, bro. And it doesn't look like we're going to get it because they're getting their tails handed to them. That's sad. Yeah. No Julius this time. 95-88. They lose. Earl Monroe drops 24 points in the contest. 19 points, 12 rebounds for Spencer Haywood. George McKinnis, 21 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists, 16 points, 12 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals, 7 blocks for Julius Irving. That's crazy. Good contest, but Knicks get the get the win. So 8-11 um, record for the Knicks now. Um, I think Hawks and Pacers, we're going to skip just because we got a lot of games to check out. 
Braves, Spurs being one of them. Ooh, Spurs got the lead back. And these Braves are in trouble. These Braves are in trouble. They're back in it. Oh, five points. Seven points. Five, three points. Ooh. Ooh, three. 102, 100. We got another jump. This is insane. We've had so many jumps during this uh, this time around. All right, so we're going to um, jump in, yeah. 102, 100. Buffalo Braves down by two. Spurs winning this game so far we're gonna go ahead and turn off the three-point line yep we're gonna go ahead and turn that off and we're gonna go ahead and put this in the middle all right so brave spurs san antonio up by two and they have the ball Bristow out to Silas. No George Gervin on the court, by the way. He's, he's in his uh, sweat, so I don't know what that's about. Bristow out to Olberding. Olberding out to Silas. Now, we haven't seen too many Braves games. Good rebound by Moses Malone, the rookie. Adrian Dantley, also the rookie. Gets it out to Shumay. Shumay, what a play! Gets rocked, but almost has enough concentration to put it in the hoop, so he could tie the game here. Moses Malone. Then there's the quick, and it's McAdoo in at the center, filling out the middle. So they got Moses Malone and McAdoo in the game. That's kind of crazy. All right, Buffalo first shot. Wow, bro. Gervin comes in for the quick. He missed that. So George Gervin back in. 316 left. Smith Good move for the Moses Spurs Malone. to put him in. Shoemate's got to make this one. And he, and he does. So 102 101. Buffalo down by one. That's a terrible miss free throw by Shoemate. But we'll see if they can recover from that mistake. Silas all the way. Wow. Just stepping through the lane. Right past his man. Bob McAdoo couldn't get there in time for the help. And all of a sudden, San Antonio up by three. In a close game. All right, Adrian Dantley. And he almost got the N1. Adrian Dantley almost getting an N1 there. And if I had to think of one word to describe Dantley, it would be Dantley's got eight. This is his rookie campaign, by the way. How about he does it for seasons? Just a scoring machine. And he got both of those free throws. 104-103. San Antonio now up by one. decide to talk it over. And they're committing an awful lot of fouls here. And not of the good variety. You don't want to give up easy layups. Sure, but it's been a non-stop parade to the foul line. And now, let's take a look at the New Balance player All right, the, the player game. of the game is actually yeah, going to be Larry Keenan of the Spurs. Not George Gervin this time around. He has 23 points, and he's 10 of 10 from the field, which is pretty incredible. He's, he's having a phenomenal night, and they're going to need it because this is a great team. Silas down to Gale. They get it out to George Gervin. George Gervin looking for a play here. Out to Olberding. Olberding down to Silas. Silas looking for a play here. We gotta go get it. Step back we jumper, no get good. Shoemate with the rebound. Smith right looking now. for a play here. Thank you, David. And he gets Here's Shoemate the off the cut. Shoemate all Smith the way in and up. let's get it. Buffalo Smith is now up by one. The game. If you came to watch us And Smith battle, has been playing really well for the, the right Braves place. as well. He's Both been a leader of this franchise. On the offensive end. Gonna be a high scoring affair tonight. San Antonio calls timeout. And he could tell. His guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. All right, so Olberding inbounding the ball. San Antonio finds themselves down by one. They need a bucket, 216 left. Can they get it to George Gervin? It looks like we got a George Gervin, Adrian Dantley matchup, which I really appreciate. Silas trying to get free. And Bob McAdoo almost stole that ball. And that's a great almost steal by Bob McAdoo. 
Five seconds left on the shot clock. Spurs got to do something with it. They're going to get it to the Iceman, George Gervin. George Gervin is doubled, and he gets pushed out of bounds. That's really unfortunate. Buffalo showing why they're a serious contender in this league right now. Here's Dantley. Covered by Gervin. Out to the right wing. Dantley. Out to Dantley. Around. McAdoo looking for a play here. McAdoo doubled. McAdoo in trouble. And they called him for a three second. I don't know if that was on McAdoo though because he was not in the paint. Alright, so all of a sudden San Antonio has a chance to get back in this one. They get it down to George Gervin. Dantley, oh what a steal! Oh, but Gervin's got it. He has to shoot. He misses. Overding with the rebound. No good. Oh, my goodness. What a series of events there. And I think Matt. Oh, McAdoo is open. All right, Adrian Dantley looking for a play here. Oh, Dantley on Gervin. Oh, Adrian Dantley. Oh, McAdoo with the tip in, though. That was some good moves there. That was, that was some good basketball right there. Buffalo up by three, and now all of a sudden, Iceman finds himself in a world of trouble. All right, George, the Iceman Gervin. What's he going to do? He's pretty well covered right now. They got options to cover him. Gale looking for a play here. He's going to have to chuck. And he misses. Shoemate with the rebound. He's been clutch with his rebounds right now. And Smith pushing the issue for Buffalo. Back out to Adrian Dantley. Once again, Dantley on Gervin. Gervin loses him off the slip. What a pass to McAdoo. McAdoo could have put it up, but he doesn't. Oh, Averitt, Mitty. No good. He had space, but he can't get it. All right, so Iceman's got to do something here. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a five. Don't force something up. you got to be smart here. All right, here we go. Overding out to Paulitz. Paulitz looking for a play here. Can't get anything. Silas out to Gale. Gale, no! They keep missing barely. That's just unfortunate. 13 seconds left. This one's pretty much over. He's going to hit these free throws. Smith has been great for this Braves franchise. Easy now, the biggest free throws in the game, and he's coming through. Yeah, he pretty much iced those. This is pretty much over. No three pointers in this league yet. Yes. Oh, Gale finally coming through for the team, though. Guys, shoot layups. You're asking for it. Time called here. I mean, they'd have to miss all their free throws and then get an and one, but I don't know. You never know in this game. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. There's George Gervin catching a break. All right, so they're going to foul somebody. It's going to be Smith. He, he's not the one you want to foul. And so he's picked up his final foul. Man's got the craziest afro. It's like flat top afro. In order to get the basketball back. Second one is good. He is both at the line, and it's a five-point game. And that's gonna be it. That, that's that's gonna be it. Good win for Buffalo. That was an exciting game. Buffalo showing why they're a good team. They did dominate, but they got it done. Like we said, Larry Keenan, twenty-three points, seven rebounds. George Gervin had 22 points. Billy Paltz had 16 points, 8 rebounds. Bob McAdoo, holy Jesus. Bob McAdoo just put up 49 points, 10 rebounds in that effort. Randy Smith had 18, 14 and 10 for a rookie Moses Malone, 21 years old. Love to see it. Adrian Dantley had 10. He's a rookie as well. That was that was a good good performance by the franchise. Bob McAdoo, a 93 overall. He's dominating right now in the league. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and head out. Um yeah, so Buffalo's 17 and 3 right now. Playing pretty well. 
All right, we got some other good games on this day too. We gotta get to this Bulls Trailblazers game. This is gonna be probably the most exciting game. Yep, that's our next one, let's do it. So two of the best teams in the NBA right now, and the Bulls are undefeated, and I don't think the Blazers are gonna take them down this time. They did not show up this time. Wow, 93-73, Bulls win by 20. I mean, no one showed up on the Bulls. Whoa. Whoa, Bill Walton's hurt. Oh, shoot. Bill Walton's on the bench. Dang, that's painful. Artis Gilmore, 20 points, 23 rebounds, 3 blocks. And that's pretty much the story. Unfortunate there. 20 wins in a row. They're 20-0. 20-0 Bulls franchise right now. That's insane. All right, let's do this Lakers and Bullets game just because I want to see more Kareem. As much Kareem as we can get on screen, we will get. And it looks like the Lakers are going to coast to a win here against Washington. They do 97 to 84. Uh, Elvin Hayes had 26 points, 17 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, and 4 blocks in the losing effort. That's insane. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar had 29 points, 14 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, 18 points for Matt Calvin. Uh, and that's about it. So good win for Kareem and the Lakers. Lakers are now 11 and 8. So Lakers are back in this, man. Lakers are back in this. Alright, let's see. So the 15th uh let's see nuggets and kings that'll be a good one we gotta check that one out more david thompson the better he's so athletic it's amazing to watch him play um but it looks like they're gonna actually smash the kings they will 112 91 nuggets beat the kings uh, I guess for the Kings, Brian Taylor led the team with 16. David Thompson, 49 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists, 6 steals. We have got to go to the Denver Nuggets and see if we have a team record here. Okay, so David Thompson in real life in 1978, he put up 73. He's already came close a few times. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of actually crazy. Did he break any new records? So he, he's already, his second iteration of himself already has him at number two with 55 points and then fifth with 51 points. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm doing different franchises, man. I'm not trying to... Okay, David Thompson, he has the most field goals made, but that's, like, from his original career. I'm um, just looking... Okay, free throws made. He does have the record there. He had 21 higher than his actual record. That's crazy. Fat Lever. <laughs> My man's name is Fat Lever, bro. What the heck? Fat Lever. Okay. All right. So we're going to keep it moving, guys. 76ers Pacers is the TV game. So we'll go ahead and watch that one as well. Like I said, any Dr. J we can get on the screen, we're going to get this man on the screen. So don't even worry about that. It is a close-ish game. Yeah, now it's a close game. We're just waiting to see if we can jump. You know what? We haven't got a lot of Julius in us, so we're going to go ahead and jump. And I am going to go ahead and turn off this three-point line as always and then we're going to make sure we're neutral here all right so we have the 76ers versus indiana 
Indiana is up Here's by two. Free. And, and so it looks like the 76ers have the ball. Julius Irving is ball. in the game. Love then to see that. The then there's the quick. They need to get him the ball. Furlow down low. Looking for a play here. That was an amazing play by Furlow against the bigger man. And we're tied at 70 to 70. I mean, 100 to 100. 354 left. Indiana bringing the ball up. And they're going to make some substitutions here. Cut by Knight. Knight down low. He's got his man. Good defense by Bibby. And good help by Julius Irving, but they do get a foul called on them. And I believe that was on Bibby, trying to rip the ball on the way up. Knight's going to the line for a two. They're going to get some substitutions in. Anderson comes in for Jones. Knight hits them both. And Knight does hit them both. Looks like George McGinnis is in the game as well. All right, here we go. World be free, leading the point for the Sixers. And Julius trying to break his man down. He gets doubled. What a cut by Jones. And what a pass by Julius Irving. Dr. J is in the building. Sixers shooting drastically better than Indiana, despite Indiana being in the game as well. Just, just right there with the points. Oh, Knight down low. He got ripped by World Be Free. Good rip there. Good help by World Be Free. Poking his hand in there. Good defense by McGinnis. And 76ers pushing the issue here. 76ers. Dr. J looking for a play here. He does get a little hook shot and misses it. World Be Free stops his man here. Looking for a play. Good defense by Dr. J. And we're still tied, 102-102. Dr. J leading the break. Slows it down, gets off the screen. He's getting doubled a lot and having trouble with it. He gets the ball back. He's looking for another play. Ooh, Dr. J, what a move. And he passes it to McGinnis. He could have did anything he wanted there. What an exciting play. These games have just gotten so much better. Since we tweaked some settings, it's amazing. His, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. And now, a moment to present the New Balance Player of the so Game. So the Player of the Game, of course, is going to be Dr. J. We would expect nothing less from this game. 25 points for him, 12 of 17 from the field. You'll love to see that. Dr. J over to Robish. Robish all the way. No, McGinnis gets the rebound, though. And Collins, Doug Collins, leading the charge for the 76ers. He decides to stop it. He gets it out the world be free. Back to Collins. George McGinnis in the post. Dr. J put a midi up for world be free. He got way up in the air to dunk that back down. Holy cow. World be free. What a play. And so Philly is now up by four. Robish backing his man down. And he gets stopped. So he has to think of another option. Passes it out. They get it to Knight. Knight the star player of this franchise for sure. Robish off a of screen. No good. Rebound by Jones, but he does lose the ball out of bounds, unfortunately. 14 seconds left on the shot clock for Indiana. And they get it to Robish on the baseline. He can't get it. Lewis with a gutsy rebound block, though. Roundfield gets it in, and it is t back to a two-point lead. Roundfield now has 14 points. Eight of those are in the paint. Timeout call the 76ers. They're in front by two. All right, so 106-104, 76ers looking good here. What a dish to McGinnis, and McGinnis cannot get the ball. Knight looking for a ball, looking for a play here. Irving, no good. Irving with the rebound. 
Kick out the world be free. World be free. Looking for a play here. Spin move. Doesn't get it. Oh, he does though. What work by world be free. World be free is actually owning the competition. He's got 30 points. World be free has 30 points in 31, 21 minutes. That's incredible. He's playing off the bench right now. Robish. No good. Dr. J with the rebound. And he immediately pushes the pace. Midi by World Be Free. He's feeling it. Bank shot. In and out. No. 35 seconds left. Indiana down by four. They got to push it. And they get a foul. Jones should not have fouled that man. Robish misses the free throw though. Robish. Second shot good. So Indiana within three. World Be Free has put up a clinic here, becoming a star in Philly. He gets it down to George McGinnis. That's a great player to get it to. George McGinnis thought about stepping up and shooting that. He doesn't do it, though. World Be Free to Julius. Julius does get that pass. What a pass by World Be Free. That's incredible. And Dr. J said, we are winning this game. I'm ready to go home. Let's go home. Start using that clock a bit. And the Pacers call time here. They're trailing by five. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? Uh, trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. Yeah, they're going to draw up a play here, I think, to get a shot right off of the inbounds pass and not waste too much time at all. Here's the quick. And oh, what a block by Jones. Collins bringing the ball up. And that is going to be all she wrote. What a win for the 76ers. Winning off a defensive possession. And World Be Free, 30 points for him. Two rebounds, three assists. Julius Irving, 27 points, six rebounds, seven assists. Uh, for the Pacers, Billy Knight led the way, 24 points, nine rebounds, two assists. And that's just an incredible, incredible night for Dr. J and World Be Free. You love to see that. So Pacers are now 13 and 6. Definitely have a great, great record. 10 and 10 for the 76ers now off that win. And that is going to take us to... What are these teams looking like? Um, let's, let's, we could take a look at it. Hawks and Rockets. We haven't seen these guys play in a while. Let's go ahead and sim through this one. These games have been really close lately. All right, let's jump in. We got another jump. <laughs> Rockets versus Atlanta. Oh, man, we're just getting jump city right now. All right, so let's go to game rules. Let's turn the three off. I'm determined to get through this month, so that's why I'm trying to... All right. All right, so Houston is up by three. They... Don't have the ball, Here's though they do have the ball. So they put in a floater. I think that's probably it. What a floater, though. Calvin Murphy, 16 points, 50% from the field. Yeah, we out of here. Did you see? <laughs> Yo, can we instant replay this? This is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. All right, let's look at this dude. Okay, so you got John Henderson with the ball. Okay, what's John Henderson about to do? Let's zoom out some more. All right, bro. Look at his pass, bro. <laughs> Yo, who is my man passing to, bro? What? <laughs> yeah, we out of here. I don't know what he's doing. That was like the fail of the lifetime. Yeah, it's over. 81-76, good win by the Rockets. Calvin Murphy, 18 points, uh, leading the way in the win there. Uh, Lou Hudson, 18 points, 13 rebounds for Atlanta. We out. I'll be right back, guys. I need to run to the restroom.
All right, we're back, we're back. All right, so we are like halfway through the month. Hopefully we can get through the next half of the month just a little bit quicker. These games have just been insane. I don't think there's anything else on the 15th. All right, let's run over to January 16th. Um, let's see. Celtics and Knicks is just always a classic. We're gonna watch that one. And it looks like the Celtics are doing their thing. No surprises there. Ooh. Dave Cowens, 35 points, 18 rebounds. 18 points, 10 assists for JoJo White. Inspired by State Farm, surprisingly. All right, Earl Monroe had 20 points. Spencer Haywood, 10 points, 16 rebounds. We'll just keep it moving. Uh, Bullets and Braves. We might do this just because I want to keep watching Braves games. Uh, Spurs Pistons, though. That's a big one. Bob Lanier versus George Gervin. And it looks like Pistons are going to handle business here pretty easily. Yeah, it's over. 95 to 80. They win by 15. Uh, let's see. Ooh, ooh. Detroit, yeah, so for Detroit, uh, Howard Porter puts up the 16 points, Eric Money had 16, Kevin Porter had 16, ML Carr 14 and 10, I don't see Lanier, Lanier, oh, Lanier held a 5, damn, George Gervin had 30 points against Detroit, but it wasn't good enough. All right, so Pistons are now 15-5. and five. Great record. They're heading to the playoffs here soon. All right, let's do... Yeah, let's go ahead and do Bullets vs. Braves. Think that's the only other one worth it. And the Braves are going to smash the Bullets. No surprises there. Elvin Hayes did have 32 points, 10 rebounds in the effort, though. 33 points, 14 rebounds for McAdoo, so they went at it. Adrian Dantley with a healthy 16. Moses Malone with a double-double, 16 and 11. You'll love to see that. Um, we're going to keep it moving, though. So we're going to go to January 17th. Uh, let's see. We might jump over to Warriors Hulks. And the Warriors handling the Hawks pretty confidently here. 110 to 83. Uh, Jamal Wilkes leading the way. 22 points, 11 rebounds. Robert Parrish, young Robert Parrish, 17 points for him. Um, yeah, I guess we'll keep it moving. 110 83, good win for Golden State. We don't want that. Yeah, that's probably right. Bulls Kings. Here we go. Bulls Kings. Can someone dethrone their undefeated record? And it could be this time. We'll see. Here we go. Fourth quarter. No, man. Bulls are just really consistent. They play like machines. And they're going to win this game. 96-85. Wedman had 18 points for Kansas. It's crazy. Wilbur Holland had 19. Norm Van Leer had 18. 15 and 20 for Artis Gilmore. I mean, Jesus. 15 points, 20 rebounds for Artis Gilmore. 11 points, 15 rebounds for Mickey Johnson. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. <sighs> 21 and 0 for the Bulls. They cannot be stopped. <laughs> It's kind of sad. All right, we're going to go to the 18th. Let's see. Oh, 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 I like this one. Uh, Nuggets versus Lakers. Uh, let's see. Pistons, Cavs, though. Eh, 
Eh, why not? Try to get some Pistons games on the, on the screen. And it looks like they will win this game. They kind of came through in the fourth quarter. Oops. Yep, they won. So 16 and five record for Detroit right now. Let's view the box score here. 24 points for Campy Russell. 17 points, 13 rebounds for Jim Jones. ML Carr had 22 points, nine rebounds. Bob Lanier, 13 and 13. All right, let's keep it moving. All right. Oh, uh, none of these games matter. Rocket Spurs. We'll watch this one just because I feel like it's like a battle of Texas. And Rockets really rising to the occasion. Wow, that's impressive. George Gervin held to just 16 points. Rudy Tom Janovich had 20 points, 16 rebounds. And Calvin Murphy had 19 points. So good win for the Rockets there. That's surprising. All right, Lakers Nuggets first. We'll do that one first. Kareem versus David Thompson. And David Thompson is just annihilating the lack of athleticism on the Lakers. He had 32, eight rebounds, six assists. Issel had 25 points, eight rebounds, which is shocking. 30 points, 19 rebounds for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So he's still doing his thing, but he's just alone over there in Los Angeles. So that's going to put a uh, 16 and two record for the Nuggets. It's pretty incredible. And the Braves versus the Trailblazers. So Trailblazers 16 and four, Braves 18 and three. So this is going to be a battle. Could be a potential uh, finals matchup here. We'll see what happens here. Braves look like they're owning them though. Yep, Braves are just going to own the Blazers. 133-103, Bob Gross had 22 points for the Blazers. 21 points for Lionel Holland. Man, what happened? Uh, I guess Bill Russell's still not playing. Bill Walton's still not playing. Where is Bill Walton? Holy cow, he's not even on the... He's not even on the thing. Bob McAdoo, 38 points. Adrian Dantley, 34 points, 9 rebounds, 8 assists. Randy Smith had 16 points. Man, McAdoo, Dantley. Adrian Dantley putting up 34 points in a rookie season. I think he just solidified the Rookie of the Year standings. 14-11 and 11 for Moses Malone. This team's just now getting into gear. Uh, we need to find out what happened. Wait, wait, did they say trade news? I thought I saw trade news, but let's see. All right, let's do um, the injury report. I just wanna see. Okay, so Bill Walton's out one to two weeks. makes sense so they got smashed all right so let's check here um pistons versus bucks should be a good game let's go ahead and take a look at this game both teams have good records this could be a potential playoff matchup and it's close Wow, yep, we're gonna jump in. 79, 78, 435 left to go. Bob Lanier and company going up against the Bucks. All right, let's uh, turn off the three point line. And then we're going to choose our sides here. All right, here we go. All right, so. Here we go. Bucks inbounding the ball over to Buckner. Buckner looking Here's for a Buckner. play here. 
pass to Bridgman. Buckner out to Bridgman. Bridgman looking for a play here. Bridgman breaking his man down. Gets stolen by Kevin Porter. And here's the fast break. Porter leading the way. And Porter with the midi. And he hits it. What an ice cold shot by Detroit. And that puts him up by three. All right, here we go. Bucks in trouble. They need a bucket here. Buckner bringing the ball up for the Cavs. They get it out to Winters. Winters, an excellent mid-range shooter. Superior threat for this team. Here's Dandridge. Bob Dandridge. Oh, there we go. Now that's a play, but he did get defended pretty well, and he was off balance on that shot. What a bad pass. But Ford recovers it, shoots a midi, and he almost hits that. What a play by Ford. The athleticism there to save the play. Winters looking for a play here. Stolen by ML Carr, though. And they've got Lanier down low. That's easy money. So Bucks kind of collapsing here at the end. And you guys are witnessing the collapse. Junior Bridgman brings the ball up for the Bucks. Here's Bridgman. Plenty of time left on the clock. Here we go. Winters looking for a play here. This is the guy you do want with the ball. I'm surprised they didn't bring him a screen. He's trying to just back down, step back. And again, the Bucks miss. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. And for his offense, Winters gets a chases a down a rebound. Here's Buckner. Midi by Buckner misses. They bump this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Out to Ford. Ford looking for a play. Ford. No good. Winters with the foul, though. And yeah, the Milwaukee falling apart here. 18 points for Chris Ford. He's playing pretty excellent, and he's got an excellent mustache. And he hits the second free throw, so he goes one of two there. So about a six-point lead here for Detroit. They push that lead up in a comfortable area, and that forces Milwaukee to call timeout. You know, he's been a one-man record crew down low. His consistent scoring has dictated the pace of this game. We'll see if they decide to front him, bring a quick double, or maybe even both to try to slow him down. Bob Lanier, of course, your player of the game. Player of the game. Look quick. And he's going to have 24 points, 11 of 14 shooting. Pretty good night for him. Winters looking for a play here. He gets a screen here, and he's going to shoot that midi. He makes those. He missed that one, though. Porter got the rebound. Passes to the other Porter. And ML Carr to Lanier, and that is going to be it. I think, I think we're out of here. I think we're out of here. On that fast break, we're out of here. Good hustle by Portland. I still feel like this is over. Yeah, 94-88, good win there. Bob Lanier, 28 points, 9 rebounds. 21 points for Chris Ford, like we said earlier. Um, Junior Bridgman leading the way for Milwaukee, 23 points. 18 points for Bob Dandridge, 9 rebounds, 4 assists for him as well. He also had 3 blocks and a steal. 17 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists for Brian Winters. And he also had 3 blocks. So good effort from Milwaukee, but they fall apart at the end. And they're going to go 12 and 10 now, and the Pistons are going to be 17 and 5. Great record for the Pistons right now. Uh, let's just make sure there's no more games for this day. Not important, not important, not important, not really that important. Lakers Jazz I'd be willing to see. Once again, any Kareem game we can get, totally worth it. And in this game, they're actually going to beat the Jazz pretty poor, pretty badly. 105-85, good win. Pete Maravich, 20 points, 11 assists. That's about it for the Jazz. But 43 points, 26 rebounds for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And you know what? We need to look... We need to look at our lead news and see if Kareem's broken any records. All right, he hasn't broken any records in points. No records here. Yeah, 
<laughs> Kareem has like the three top records for rebounds. He had 47 record, like 47. Yeah, my man has broken the rebound category, bruh. Like, he broke the rebound category, bruh. Like, <laughs> yo, Kareem is breaking. He's breaking rebounds, bro. Yeah, my man broke rebounds. It's not fair. All right, um, so that's gonna take us to... Yeah, January 20th. Uh, 76ers and Bullets, we're definitely gonna jump in on. And this is a close one. Big rivalry here. And it's close. Bullets trying to claw their way back. I don't think they're gonna do it though. And it does not look like they will do it. And so 119, 105. Julius Irving, 22 points, nine rebounds. 15 points for uh, World Be Free, 15 points for George McGinnis. Elvin Hayes, 23 points, 13 rebounds, 18 points for Dave Bing, all in the losing effort, 14 and 11 for Truck Robinson, 14 points, 16 rebounds for Wes Unseld, and five assists. So Wes Unseld's still showing he's got some value. All right, we're gonna keep things moving. I think that's it for the 20th. Mm, we don't really need that. It's like a destruction game. All right, let's check the next day. Oh, uh, Pacers, Pistons. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Both teams are decent East Coast teams. We, we need to check this out. Pacers, Pistons. And Pacers in control. Pistons trying to come back though. Very defensive contest here. And they aren't able to make it back. 80 to 77 though, close comeback for the Pistons. Robish had 16 in the winning effort. Hillman had 10, yeah, good team effort. Bob Lanier, 19 points, 15 rebounds in the effort, but they can't get it done. Um, so yeah, Pistons go 16 and six now. 17 and 6 for the Pistons. Uh, the Kings are kind of falling out of favor. We'll skip that one. Nuggets and Celtics, though, that's definitely a good game. Uh, David Thompson versus a very good Celtics team. And it looks like he's having light work with them. They're close, though. They're close, though. Hold on. We might have a jump. Oh, yeah, we're jumping in. 352 left. David Thompson versus the Celtics. Dave Cowens, Havlicek, all those guys. All right. And then we're going to make sure the three-point line is turned off here, guys. Right? All right, so Nuggets inbounding the ball here. And they are up by Here's two. A train, covered by Havlicek. Passes it to Issel. Issel, midi, gets it. Wow, Issel with the midi, showing why he's a valuable player for this franchise. And he's got 17, so Celtics in trouble. And we're here in the old Madison Square Garden. I mean, uh, Boston. And it's Cowens in at the five, roaming the Boston Stadium. Here's Scott over Taylor. Oh, good midi by Boston. Cowens with a great rebound. Pump fake inside. No, great defense by Issel. Not buying the pump fake. McLean all the way. What a block. What a block. I don't even know who that was. That was an amazing block. Incredible. 
Looks like David Thompson's on the bench right now. I think it was Scott that had the block. That's pretty incredible. Havlicek with the ball, and Havlicek will shoot this. And Rowe's going to have to chuck it up. That's a miss for sure. Good. Oh, wait. I thought they got the rebound, but McLean got the rebound. Important rebound there. Down to Taylor. Taylor, no good. Rowe with the rebound. And Celtics got to convert a bucket here. They've got to convert a bucket. And they're in trouble. Havlicek. What a play by Havlicek. Showing why he is a veteran in this league. One of the few OGs. 95-97. David Thompson coming back in the game. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. And starting to send guys to the line way more than they need to. Let's get some good position defense going here. That should be the emphasis and get away from the sloppy fouls. And now let's present our Alright, so David Thompson of is indeed David your player Thompson. of the game. He has 34 guys, points against the Celtics, 13 of 21 shooting. The man is averaging nearly 36 a game, so he's playing really well. David Thompson, Alley Oop! He called it for himself! What a play by David Thompson. 36 points for him right now. And he is playing a whole different version of basketball than these other guys are. For, fellas, let's knock them on their heels right out of the timeout. Show them how much you want it. Go get it. He really is fired up about this game, Kevin. Now a timeout called by Boston. And Kevin, he saw his his guys just. All right, so Rowe inbounding the ball to White there. down to Scott. Scott, oh, just missing it. David Thompson had enough of an effect on that shot, and what a almost block again. But Nuggets just pushing the issue, and all of a sudden they're up by six, and that's that's unfortunate for Boston. To set up. This what team is a quick. Beautiful fast break opportunity, and the finish pretty good. Now a timeout called by Boston. All right, so Celtics trying to get it together. They got two minutes to do so. Two minutes to get six buckets. Outside White. That's a start there. White just pushing the issue on Taylor. Taylor didn't want to foul. JoJo White has 11 points in the second half. He had seven in the first half. David Thompson down to Taylor. What a wild pass, but it does connect. Good defense, but he can't get the rebound. A good defense again by Rowe, holding his own. Good stops, that's what they need. That's the kind of stops they need. And Scott putting it up, doesn't get it. Cowens with the big boy rebound. And all of a sudden, it's just a two point game. Cowens really coming through for Boston right there. Showing why he is the franchise player right now. Great defense, great defense, great defense, no, they doubled David Thompson and it got them in trouble. Alright, so Boston down by four, they got to do something with this possession. Havlicek, pump fake, gets the man up in the air, shoots the jumper, no good, Cowan still battling down low. But he can't make anything of the offensive rebound because he gets rips. Outside, Taylor. Thompson is double. Nuggets are a team right now. And Webster open again because of the double. Ugh. That's rough. Great defensive play. Then the impact stop. Okay, okay, so Celtics back in it. They get a dunk of their own, and it's a four-point game, so it's not over. Beautiful pass. They're trying to trap him. Might be all the cushion they need. You would think so. They're letting this, this man be open again. For the take. Thompson looking for an opening. Pass to Big Dog. Six on the shot clock. All right, Gerard looking for a play here. Gerard, no good. What a rebound by Cowens. He's been playing really hard lately. They're down by four. 16 seconds left to play here in the fourth. All right, so they need a quick bucket no and a foul. Here. Quick bucket and a foul. Everybody has got to be in the exact perfect position defensively. All right, here we go. Celtics called up their play after the timeout. What are they going to do? They're going to inbound the ball to JoJo White. That's a great person to have the ball. He gets it to row. What a pass by JoJo White firing it down a row. And all of a sudden, they're back in this game. 
seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And Issel inbounding the ball for the Nuggets. This is an important possession for them. Taylor is going to get fouled. And he's got to hit these free throws. And he will. He will. He'll hit the free throws. And he hits both free throws. So good stuff. Well, you love a guy who gets himself to the line, takes his time, and Four point lead. This is probably over, but good effort by the Celtics. They get it down to Cowan, and Cowan dunks it down, so they still have a chance here. They foul Ger Gerard. Gerard has to make these free throws. They're still within two. And Gerard makes the first. And Gerard makes the second, so that's going to be the dagger in the game right there. And JoJo White just going to throw it up. Good effort by the Celtics. Even greater effort by the Nuggets. This was a hard fought, well earned victory for him, Greg. They really and David Thompson knowing that he's changing the league right now. All right, so let's look at this 25 points, 19 rebounds for Dave Cowens, 18 points for JoJo White, 12 assists. What an effort by these two guys. But unfortunately, David Thompson scores 36 points. He has eight rebounds, five assists, three steals in the game. Issel, 17, his right-hand man, gets another consistent night for himself. Six rebounds, five assists, four steals. That's a story right there. The Nuggets, Issel, and Thompson are amazing together. And 17-4 record now for the Celtics. Denver Nuggets remain with two losses, 18-2 now. Warriors and Bulls, we got to show this game. Both teams have a winning... Uh, a winning record and last time the Warriors almost upset them and upset their record and it looks like this time they're gonna try to do that my god oh my god we gotta jump in we gotta jump in 72 70 Golden State up by two All right, we got a um, game rules. Three pointers off. Choose our sides. All right, can Rick Barry finally snap Artis Gilmore's record? And he makes the first. And they make a free We're throw. So but Golden State about to go up by four. The, the quickies checked in for Golden State. Bulls trail by four. All right, and Artis Gilmore is on the, the bench, bench maybe, or he's hurt. Forward. I don't even see so him. Five in the game for Chicago. I don't even see him. Here's the quick. Yeah. Oh, good. good. Put up by Van Leer. Van Leer puts them like within two the points. He's finally starting to come around. I, uh, I don't see Artis. Here is Doug. Here's Wilkes. Oh, good it's put good back by the Ray. The Quicks got the lead up to four now for the Warriors. And uh, Norm oh, Van Leer leading this team. Right there, guys. They just got to yeah, I don't see Gilmore. In, what a pass to Love, and Love dunks it down. Holy camoleoli. What a play. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. And so it's Golden State with it. Ooh, what a play. Chicago, yeah. Picking up a basket just moments ago. Yeah, nothing too fancy. Uh, let's take a kidding. look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's see. Box score. Yeah, I don't see him. I guess he got hurt. Maybe he got hurt. All right, well, it looks like Artis Gilmore is hurt. I don't know what happened to him. Here's the quick. Oh, Norm Van Leer, midi. No good. Ray with the rebound. Kicks it up to Johnson. And Johnson dumps it down to Wilkes. Wilkes, turn around. Bucket, no good. And whoa, a steal. Ray has to put it back up and dunks it down. What a weird turn of events. And it looks exactly like what I said is going to happen. It's going to happen. Golden State's going to lay down Chicago's record. Love to see him get up like that. Love. 
You want to put up by Love. Love's, Love's hooping right now. Love is hooping. Yeah, he hooping right now. He hooping. This man hooping, man. That, that move that he put on him, that was a crazy move. Player of the game is Clifford Ray, of all people, for Golden State. He has 13 points, 6 of 14. He averages about 13 games, 13 points. In the paint. Again. And if nothing else has worked, he, he's given them a reliable option on every possession. Chicago well, what a play. Wilkes down low. Easy in. money. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. So hey, Love has 27 points in this the effort, but... Coach as he addressed the team, he said, keep grinding. We're in good shape. Things aren't always going to go perfectly. Don't let that slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. And it's a six-point game now. Bulls Bulls got to get it back under control. They've got two minutes and 36 seconds to do so. Can they do so? Oh, yeah, they can. Love off the screen. This man is dominating right now. Love is saying, I don't need Artis Gilmore. I am Artis Gilmore. Let's go. Fantastic one-hand jam. Bradley the pass to Wilkes. What a block by Love, and my man is playing mad athletic right now. Holy cow. And here is Dudley to the middle. Oh no. What a block again! He got a block again and he gets the ball back for his team. Love with two blocks, playing like a man possessed. Wanting to keep this record alive. Down to Van Leer. Van Leer with the bucket. Let's go. Chicago up by, down just by two points now. 14 points for Van Leer on the night. Kick out to Smith. Smith draws the foul, and you hate to see that. 14 points for Phil Smith. Make that 15 points. He also has five assists. That's a pretty incredible number. So he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. He's the one person that the coaching staff and the teammates love to see. All right, Van Leer bringing the ball up. To pretty much bank on these. Here's the quick. Oh, nice love again with another dunk. They cannot stop him. They just keep running the same play, and they're back within two. I don't hate it, man. I don't hate it. They're trying to keep this lead alive. I do not blame them. Now here's Dudley. Pass to Smith. Back to Dudley. Wilkes looking for a play. Wilkes. No dice. Wilkes back up. Oh, they just let him have it. That's rough. They didn't want to foul there. I understand that. But the Bulls have got to be more aggressive. Oh, they got love again. This man is possessed. Holy cow. He has 33 points right now. Four blocks. Trying to do everything that Artis Gilmore did while he was on this team. And he's proving that he can. Oh, nice. Nice. Wilkes again. Wilkes has 20. A rebounds for him as well. It's the Wilkes and Love Show. Oh, what a pass. Down to Mengel. Man, Van Leer is really running the squad really well, though. And it's tied. It's 88-86. Golden State has maintained this two-point lead for a long time. The Bulls have closed it all the way to two, but they can't get past that. Oh, and this man gets through again. Jamal Wilkes, 21 points. Jamal Wilkes to the free throw line again, 22 points. What a game from him. Van Leer is on fire, but he can't get it. Pass this home. Guys, a critical time for them in this ball game. Hey, you gotta play mistake free. Here's Love. And Love misses that one. He kind of was he off on his timing there, and that is probably gonna be all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. What a sad day there. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by Dudley with the free throw. Dudley with the second free throw. Bang. And it's a six-point ball game. Yeah, the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. Chicago calls timeout. They're trailing by six. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Three 
second difference between shot clock and game clock. Love trying to just put it up. Can't do it. And that is over. We're done. And I think that's the streak. The streak is over for the Bulls without Artis Gilmore. They do lose. 33 points for Love, though. What an incredible performance. Five blocks. Wilkes had 22 points, eight rebounds. Smith, Phil Smith had 16 points, six rebounds, five assists, three steals. 13 points, 17 rebounds for um, Clifford Ray. 17 rebounds, pretty incredible night. That's where it hurt him. Artis Gilmore, gone. Someone else can get rebounds. And we'll have to find out what happened to him. We're looking for Gilmore. Is Gilmore hurt? Artis Gilmore is day to day. So they left him out and they took that record off the table. That sucks. Ugh. That really sucks. All right, let's get the music back. All right. So that's the first loss for the Bulls this season. That's incredible. Braves and Bucks will definitely tune into that one. At all state, we've been saying you need to be hands for a long No. Braves and Bucks, let's get it. Wow, Bucks are taking it to the Braves. Holy cow, we might have another game to jump into. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we're jumping in. All right, so we're back in on another exciting game, guys. Uh, let's go to game rules. All right, here we go. Buffalo down by one against Milwaukee. Buffalo, one of the best teams in the league. Milwaukee looking for an upset here. Nader, kick out to Bridgman. Junior Bridgman has an option. He has Alex English down low, and Alex English starting to take off as a player. And he puts them up by three. So Adams bringing the ball up for the Braves. He gets it out to Adrian Dantley. Adrian Dantley on Alex English. What a matchup right there. Adams. Phase, Almost thinks about a mid. He doesn't go for it. Dantley out on the wing. Here's he drives. On the shot and he puts it up. What a bucket by Adrian Dantley over Alex English. What a play. And that is what we came here for. His gameplay like that is incredible to me. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And now let's present our new balance player of the game. So the player of the game is going to be Alex English, actually. He's playing pretty well tonight, apparently. He has 16 points. He's averaging 14.8 a game. 8 of 10 shooting on the night tonight. Buckner bringing the ball up for the Bucks. But still, even when you're wide open, you expect Junior Bridgman driving all the way, and he dunks it down. And somehow there's a miscommunication in the paint on who was supposed to pick that up for the Braves. And they've got to get their act together. They're looking pretty tired right now. Moses Malone off the screen. Moses Malone in the game. McAdoo in the game. The original Twin Towers. All right, yeah, Moses has that mismatch. Yep, what a Moses. Moses play Moses Moses what are you doing buddy yes you got it Moses did way too much on that but he got the bucket Moses Malone has 15 points on the night pretty good night for that young guy oh what a play junior Bridgman just showing off his athleticism right now he is not tired and they do look tired he just two incredibly athletic plays here all right, here we go. Adrian Dantley looking for a play here. Adrian Dantley, good move, good move. Adrian goes up. He gets ripped by, I think, Buckner. I can't tell who ripped him there. But great defense on Adrian Dantley. And Moses Malone 
He's covered by Malone. On Winters. Bit of a mismatch here. Winters. And I think Winters could get a good bucket here. Yep, Two that's what I thought. Good penetration by shot. Brian Winters. And making the best of the all the mismatch. And he is 18 points on the night. He's perfect from the free throw line. He's been here six times. Make that seven times. And now Milwaukee's up by five. What a turn of events in this simulation. I mean, it's pretty incredible. Adrian Dantley looking for a play here. Adrian Dantley all the way. Mitty. Good decision there. McAdoo with the rebound. McAdoo back up. Tries to double clutch. But Danley comes in and saves him. What defense against McAdoo, by the way. And Bucks look like they're competitive now. Alex English starting to break out. Here's Bridgman. All right, here we go. Winters down low. Winters step back. No good. McAdoo with the rebound, though. Alright, Averitt looking to get Buffalo back into it. Adrian Dantley on the wing. Adrian Dantley pushing the issue. What a play by Adrian Dantley. And he now has 12 points, but they're important points. Winters looking for a play here. Good stop by Smith. Does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. All right, Smith looking for a play here. He gets it out to Dantley. Dantley looking for a play here. Dantley, no good. No good. So they foul intentionally. Yeah, that's right. No other option but the foul and for some misses. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. So foul on Winters, Buffalo down by one. They had to do what they had to do, 12 seconds left. And Winters probably gonna knock these down. It's gonna be a good win for the Bucks tonight. Good on the first, it's the first. Put them up by two. Winters has been a very important part of this franchise. Doing all kinds of work for them, spreading the floor, getting mid-range jumpers, going to the basket, getting free throws. And he's perfect from the line tonight. I believe that's eight or nine free throws on the night. 99-96. Buffalo down by three. They're going to have to see what kind of play they can make here. No three-pointers are in play, so. 12 seconds left in the game. Guys, your thoughts? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Either way, they got to score the ball. All right, here we go. Buffalo inbounding the ball. They're down by three. All right, they're going to get it out to McAdoo. McAdoo gets the and one. McAdoo gets an and one opportunity. He has to hit this. McAdoo has to hit this free throw. If he does, they are tied. He's looking mad focused, and he hits it. What a play by McAdoo. And the Braves showing why they are a top-notch franchise right now. 99-99. And we've got a serious matchup right now. Inbound to Buckner. Buckner over to Winters. Winters had his big man, but he turns around and shoots it. Nader, rebound, what a block by McAdoo, and Adrian Dantley right behind him to call the timeout, 0.6 seconds left, what a play, that's incredible, holy cow, what a stop by McAdoo, showing why he's one of the best, and why he should be MVP this year, and they're just going to have to input it and throw it. Smith. From Smith, no good, and we are going to overtime. This is our first overtime game of the season, I believe, that we've seen. Maybe the second one? What an incredible game, though. McAdoo willing his team to another period. And we've got Moses Malone 
lining up against Nader for the tip. McAdoo playing more of a power forward position right now. And they get it out to Averitt. Averitt running the offense, looking for a play here. He gets it to Adrian Daly. Adrian Daly's been absolutely hooping like a monster. What a pass to Malone. What a pass. Daly to Malone. Rookie to rookie. The most exciting rookies in the league on one team. And it's pretty incredible. Pretty clear. It's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. Winters looking for a play here. Winters tries to drive. Doesn't get it. Winters. Out. Shot clock at six. To Buckner. Buckner looking for a play. The Buckner down low to Rastani. Rastani, no good. Good defense by Braves again. They've been playing near perfect defense, and Smith's going to drive that. Yep, easy money. And Buffalo turning it on. They have the depth to get it done. Randy Smith averaging 18.7 a game this season. Pleasant surprise for them. Midi by Buckner. No good. Bucks love those middies, but it's not working. Working for him right now. And Randy Smith out to Adrian Dantley, out to Averitt, out to McAdoo. And Dantley trying to get open. And he does. It's the Dantley show. Dantley, what a play. Dantley working incredibly hard right now. And he's pushing this lead up. He missed the free throw, though. 12 points, 4 rebounds for Adrian Dantley. He is just a rookie, so bear with him. He will develop. He hits the second from the line. He did the important part at the line there. The heavy lifting, if you will. Made this a two-possession game. 104 to 99. Buffalo up. Having a great overtime period right now. Junior Bridgman looking for a play here. Junior Bridgman breaking this man down. Adrian Dantley playing good defense, though. What a rip by Adrian Dantley. He said, get out of here. What a pass to Smith. Smith and one. Let's go. Buffalo. Such an exciting team to watch on paper. On paper, on film. They're amazing. Bob McAdoo leading this team to this moment. Guys, there's still time for them to make a run. Can't have any wasted possessions down the stretch. Yeah, if, Buff, if uh, the Bucks are going to make a run, they got to make a run now. I think the next missed bucket by then, we might go ahead and get out of here. Six, five, four, three, yeah, that's an easy free throw for him. Good spacing for Brian Winters. He has 23 now. Alright, Moses Malone down low. He shoots a jumper and he misses. Weird bank shot for him. Winters bringing the ball up. Winters pushing the issue. Bridgman. What defense by Shoemate, I believe that was. Pass down to McAdoo. McAdoo said, I'll control this and he gets an and one call. Wow, this team is just incredibly powerful. Bridgman getting subbed out for Bob Dandridge. Dandridge, he's checked in for Milwaukee. And it has to be. And that that's gonna be it. That's that's. I think that's it. We're gonna go ahead and try to simcast out of this. Yeah, great win in overtime for the Braves. Brian Winters, 23 points. Junior Bridgman had a great game as well. 21 points for him as well. 16 points for Alex English. Five rebounds, six assists for him. 12.6 rebounds, 10 assists for Bob Dandrish. Bucks are a good team, but they get beat um, because Randy Smith had 33 points. Bob McAdoo, 33 points, 14 rebounds, five assists, one steal, two blocks. 18 points for Adrian Dantley, five rebounds, six assists, three steals. Moses Malone with 17 points, 12 rebounds. How do you stop that? I mean, that's just, they were relentless. They were literally relentless until they got the win, and they played hard. That's an excellent come from behind win. 20-3 and three Braves. It's incredible. Uh, Spurs, Kings. Yeah, we're skipping that one. Let's see, is there any other games that we want to see? Lakers, Trailblazers. Okay, we got to watch this one. Uh, Lakers versus Trailblazers. Uh, 
And it looks like the Trailblazers are going to put it on them. <clears throat> Maurice Lucas, 20 and 14. They get it done without Bill Walton. 19 points for Lionel Hollins. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, 26 points, 17 rebounds. Um, yeah, unfortunate though. An unfortunate loss. Trailblazers are now 18 and 5. Alright, let's move on. Pacers, Knicks, probably not worth it. Cavaliers, 76ers, I will watch because I always want to get more Julius. And this is going to be a close one again. Jesus, we keep getting all the close games. <clears throat> Cavs kind of taking off at the end, though. All right, four points. Two points. All right, we're jumping in. All right, let's go and... Go game rules. We're going to make sure... That we have our three-point shots off. And we're neutral. So 89-87. Cavs up by two. And they have the ball. Dr. J and company going to try to get back into this one. We'll see if they do. But it's great to get another uh, Dr. J game in here. So looking it over. Um, passes to the quick. Jim Jones has been great in this simulation so far. He misses that one, though. George McGinnis with the rebound. And, oh, Dr. J has a chance to put his team back in it. He's putting the moves on. Uses it. Uses the double to his advantage. Gets it to McGinnis. And he just makes it look so easy. 89-89. We are tied. So many excellent games in the month of the second month of the season. Jim Jones down low. Tries to step up into that one, and he gets blocked by Jones. Great block there, and Julius is going to put a move on this kid. What a play down to World Be Free. World Be Free does miss it, though. Great defense by the Cavs. And Julius is set up to play some defense himself, but gets called on the foul. And Bingo Smith on the line. He has 12 on the night. And that gives them the lead. And the 76ers making a change. Yeah, it looks like Bingo Smith is a little injured as well. So we'll see how, how he holds up. Comes in for Russell, and it's the quick end for Walker. Yeah, critical that he's able to convert there. Now they've taken the lead. And Philadelphia calls time here. They trail by two. There's a minute 47 left to play in the final. Four. All right, Jim Cleman's player of the game. That's not something you see every day. He has 18 points. He averages 11 on the season, 7 of 14 shooting on the night. Will be free, inbounds the ball. He, he needs a bucket for his team now. George McGinnis down low. George McGinnis takes contact. Doesn't get the bucket, but he is going to go to the line. George McGinnis proving to be relentless in this fourth quarter. Makes the first free throw. That's important. There, there it's in one. He needs to see if they can tie it here. And they don't tie it. In and out. So 91-90. Cleveland maintains the lead. But they're going to want a bucket here for sure. Will be free clamping right now. Good defense by the Sixers, switching off folks. Good defense by World Be Free. Good rebound by Jones. And Sixers might have the opportunity they were looking for. Down to McGinnis. Easy money. Running the fast break. Love to see it. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Coach trusts him to make when he plays. All right, Jones down low. Jones looking for a play. What a play by Jones. Putting the move on Jones. That was actually an incredible post move, by the way. I've never seen anything like that. And so Cleveland up by one now. We're going back and forth a little bit. Dr. J on the wing. That's what you want. George McGinnis on the corner. No good. In and out midi. And Cleveland pushing that issue. Good defense by 76ers. Stopping the fast break. Midi. Good rebound by Jones. Jones ready to step up if he needs to. Let the midi ride. I like that decision defensively. Will be free. Covered pretty tightly. Gets stopped. Gets it out to Doug Collins. Doug Collins kicks it back out to him. 
And World V3 out to McGinnis. McGinnis gonna have to force it again, but he does get free! And he bangs it down! One-handed drive by McGinnis, and that's why he's a legend. That is why George McGinnis is a bit of a legend. He has what it takes to come through in the clutch. And the Cavaliers call time here. They're behind by one. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter. All right, Clemens inbounds the ball. Philly up by one. This was a good game to see. I love seeing them persevere. Julius Irving hasn't been able to do much. Been double teamed the entire time, but he's playing some good defense, and they are going to win on that good defense. Great defense by Philly to win the game, and that's all you can ask for. Good win by the 76ers. You love to see it. Uh, George McGinnis, 25 points, 16 rebounds. What a game from him. He's 26 years old, so he's a young man. 25 points, 16 rebounds, 8 assists. Julius Irving, 24 points, 3 rebounds, 7 assists, 1 steal. 16 points for Doug Collins. Good win for them. All right. Uh, I don't think there's any other games here that I'd like to see. Let's go to the 23rd. Mm, 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 mm. I'll check Braves Bullets. That'll be the only game of this day. And yeah, Braves are handling business. Good game. Um, Deion Harris for the Wizards somehow. Who is that guy? No idea. Um, Larry Wright had 15. Elvin Hayes had 14 and 13. Bob McAdoo, 37 points, 11 rebounds, 20 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists for Randy Smith, 19 points for Adrian Dantley, 4 rebounds, 6 assists, 4 steals. Moses Malone at 10. Good win for them. All right, we'll move forward to the 24th. Oh, we'll do Braves Pacers for sure. Pacers looking nice. Wow, they're handing it to them. Wow, Pacers handing it. Absolutely handing it to the Braves. It's just this team effort, man. They just have a, a, a solid team effort. They just play well together. 28 and 13 for McAdoo. Adrian Dantley at 16. Like, that's crazy. They just have great chemistry. 102 to 91. Pretty incredible there. Um, Cavaliers, Celtics. We'll go ahead and do that one as well. Celtics have really pushed some really good games. I mean, Cavs. And I think Celtics have this one. I'm trying to just get through. Uh, Jojo White, 20 points, 11 assists, 18 points for Charlie Scott. Cowens had 16 points, 10 rebounds. Good win for the Celtics. 24 points for Jim Brewer. Second overall pick in 1973. 20 points for Campy Russell. Together they uh, lose, but they, they did get some good stuff done. Uh, let's see, nothing matter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. No, a lot of these don't matter. All right, we'll just go to the 25th. Bullets, Hornets, Nuggets, Nuggets 76ers. Yeah, we're definitely going to check that one out. Dr. J versus David Thompson. Dr. J looks like he has personal business he wants to get out of his system 121 93 they easily win julius irving puts up 31 against david thompson seven rebounds five assists two steals world b pre puts up 25 points three rebounds four assists two steals george mcginnis continuing to contribute 20 points 12 rebounds for him 15 points for barnett jim barnett David Thompson held to just 19 points, but he had 12 rebounds, 8 assists, 3 steals, 3 blocks. Good win for the 76ers. Like, holy cow.
They have six wins in a row. Like they're 15 and 10 now. They're looking nice. Let's go 76ers. They just had a really shitty first month. All right, let's just make sure we have nothing else here to look at. Nah. Rockets, Cavs, probably not. Celtics, Pacers, yes. We got to check this one out. Because the Pacers are just playing incredibly well. Yeah, see, they got the lead. And they are handling it. Wow, so Pacers knock off the Celtics and the Braves. Jesus. And it's just team basketball. Like... Steve Green puts up 15, Roundfield 13. No one does anything spectacular. It's just team basketball. 21 points, 10 rebounds for Dave Cowens. Pacers have won six straight. Um, yeah, I don't even know what to say. Like, they just play good team basketball. That's incredible. And they're now 19 and 6. That's just incredible. Uh, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I don't know that the Hawks and the Bulls matters right now. Now nah, we're just gonna keep moving. Seventy Sixers and Celtics. All right, that's a game we gotta go through. We're almost done with the stream for this month. Uh, so, oh yeah, close battle going into the third, but Celtics took off a little bit. Let's see if. 76ers can pop back. They're they're close. Four points. Uh... Alright, we'll jump in. 103, 100, and 311 left. Classic matchup, Celtics versus 76ers. Classic East Coast matchup right here. Go ahead and turn this uh, three-point line off. Yep. And then we'll do our choose sides. And there we go. All right. So 76ers inbounding the ball. They're down. They're up by three. So they're in good shape. Here's free. We do have Julius Irving out there on the wing. We'll be free in the game. Cowens looks like he's Inside. in the game. Good Here's pass by World Be Free. He saw Cowens' lazy movement and he made a great assist. And all of a sudden, Celtics down by five. They're in trouble. And Julius is hype. Their team is just really on a roll right now. In the game for the 76ers, we've got Free. Jones is out there with Mix. Then there's Irving. And it's Bibby in at the point. Julius Irving is your player the of the game. Of the game. Julius Irving. He has 22 yeah, points, 9 of 11 shooting. He averages 27 a game right now. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success. All right, JoJo White looking for a player. He's the man you want with the ball. He can make things happen. Charlie Scott gets doubled on the wing. Charlie Scott pushes through the double, even triple team, and draws a foul. That's pretty incredible. Charlie Scott on the line. He has 20 points. That's why they're triple teaming him right now. Makes his first free throw. Makes his second. Second free throw. Let's get some opportunities before and Boston is out. only Kevin, down by and three now. Making a change here. All right, Bibby's Bibby bringing in. the ball up. To free. All right, we'll be free. Ooh, stops on a dime, almost the fakes his man Jones out. What a pass down to Doug Collins. That's just good teamwork. And all of a sudden, 76 is back up by five. Oh, Jojo White off the off the run, and that's an easy layup for him. He just beat World Be Free off the dribbling. And that's a big mistake there for World Be Free. He knows it. And he's going to make that free throw. So 105-107, Boston only down by two now. They're narrowing it slowly. All right, World Be Free setting his offense back up. He gets it out to Doug Collins. Dr. J got blocked by Cowens. What a step up by Cowens. 
Oh man, Wicks open off the double team, and that's a tie game we have here. Glad we jumped into this one. 107, 107, a minute 50 left. Dr. J with the ball, but Dr. J gets doubled. Cowens rips it from Dr. J. Wow, and just Scott with the rebound. I mean, just a putback, easy putback, and Celtics are just on a roll at the home stadium. Almost like bonus points when you can get them. Oh, what a pass to free. Will be free. Open on the wing. This is the midi, though. Spin move by Scott. His positioning near the hoop, always to his advantage. Just a terrific job to tip that one back in. Irving kicks to bid. Back to Irving. All right, Bibby out to Irving. Irving looking for a play here. Irving out to World Be Free. World Be Free can make an extra pass. He does. Jones, easy money. And they're back within two. So, so now the Sixers are the one struggling. Oh, Havlicek all the way. Oh, man. Good attempt to block the shot by Julius Irving, but he's going to send old Havlicek to the line, and Havlicek ain't missing these, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, so up by three now. And another one. Yeah, the crucial part of those free throws is that it now makes it a two-possession game. Timeout called the 76ers. They're trailing by four. 46 seconds left in the game. Oh. All right, so Jones inbounding the ball now. Here's Collins. Don't sit down to Bibby. Bibby looking for a play. Julius out to World Be Free. World Be Free. Easy layout. They just basically work together. Give and go. Give and go. Easy money. Easy basketball play there. 113, 111, Boston up by two. They just gotta try to put a dagger bucket in here. Havlicek, Midi, no good. Will be, excuse me, will be free with the ball. Oh, Julius has an open break and he's gonna just dunk that over Havlicek. 113 all, and all of a sudden, we have a ball game. Wow, so 113, 113, 21 seconds to figure this game out before we go to another period, or we go to another period, I guess I should say. Havlicek, Irving, Havlicek, Irving, two very different play styles. What's going to happen here? Havlicek definitely deciding to hold the ball here. He wants the last shot here. He's trying to set something up. He doesn't pass it, and he, he shoots a midi, and he hits it! Havlicek hit a midi! Oh my god. Everyone ran to the cut, man. Oh my god. This man just popped the midi in your face, bruh. This man popped the midi in your face. Yo, Havlicek popped one in your face, dog. That's crazy. Jay for the last shot. He, he can't get it off. So Havlicek just beat him with just incredibly intelligent basketball. All right, so Dave Cowens, 26 points, 15 rebounds, three assists, one steal, four blocks. He was dominant in this game. So was Charlie Scott. He had 24 points, five rebounds, seven assists. JoJo White was 16 points, nine assists. Havlicek had 14 points, but a very crucial 14 points. Um... Julius Irving, 24 points, 12 assists, 22 points for Doug Collins, 16 points for George McGinnis. What a game. Celtics are going to come away with the win. Um, Cavalier Spurs might be worth jumping into. We haven't seen George Gervin in a minute. And I think we're actually going to end up jumping into this one again. So, 
Let's do it. We're jumping in. Spurs, Cavs, we're here in San Antonio. Let's get it. We're going to just close this out the right way by getting in as many games as we can, apparently. All right, so game rules. We'll take away the three-point line from these guys. I'll be glad when I don't have to do that anymore. We'll choose sides. Here we go. All right. So, Cavs have the ball. They are down by two, down by three. And so here's Cleveland. And it's Spurs looking to game. get a win here. Got the quick. The quick is out there with the quick. Oh, what an alley. What an alley to Russell. For the Spurs. That was actually a really smart play. So, Cleveland down by one now. Spurs looking to increase their lead a little bit. Keenan on in the game. Keenan has a mismatch now. They're gonna try to get it to him, I think. Uh, that's what I would do. Yeah. He's got this mismatch. He's gonna put this bucket in. Good play by Keenan. I don't see George Gervin. I don't know where he's at. He might be trying to get in the game. Yeah, I think he is. I see him. Alright, so San Antonio up by three. George Gervin gonna come in the game. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under. And now a moment to present the new balance player of the game. Larry Keenan, player of the game for the Spurs. Ten points for him. He averages 15 a game usually. That was the game plan. So he must be doing something else well other than scoring. Oh, what a steal by oh what a what a defensive play by George Gervin. Almost stealing the ball, but they do get a they get a bucket. Cavs get a bucket. And so now they're only down by one again, but good, good effort by George. Well, during the break, I listened in on JB All right, so Gale calls a timeout for the Spurs. This game's going to come down to big plays. Whichever team makes them is going to come out of here with the win. Kevin, you know what side he's on. San Antonio calls timeout. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted. All right, to here we go. Olberly, no, Olberding, inbounding the ball the for the Spurs. He gets it to Pulse, out to Silas. Silas looking for a play here. He gets it out to Gale. Gale, up. No dice. by Cleveland. The Quicks got six rebounds in the game. To the paint. Oh, to Brewer the gets the lead for Cleveland, and so all of a sudden San Antonio in trouble. 78-77. Spurs in trouble now. Late in a close game. San Antonio calls timeout. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. All right, here we go. Spurs find themselves down by one. They need a play here. What are they going to do? Pulse out to Silas. Silas out to Gale. Gale looking for a play here. Iceman calling for the ball. They're not giving it to him. They get it down to Oberling. Oberling doesn't get it. And I'm sure George Gervin frustrated about that. Smith one-on-one -on -one with Gervin. Gervin good defense again by the Iceman showing that he's more than just a scorer. Oh, there we go. Iceman said, you won't give me the ball. I'll take it on my own. But Oberding has to clean up and he does. 79-78. Spurs up. Reason why None of that play is possible, certainly, by George Gervin, but uh, he seems a little bit at odds with his team. I don't know what that's about. All right, here we go. 79-78. Ooh, Jones down low. Oberding, no good. Oberding. Oh, here we go. All right, San Antonio looking to expand their lead a little bit. This could be a dagger play right here for the Spurs. Obviously, the Spurs are the fan favorites. Oh, no. Good defense by Jones. Jones really turning into a perennial center in the NBA right now. Snyder setting something up for the Cavs. They want to be smart here. They want to get that lead back. Jones on the roll. Good defense by Gale covering him up. Shot clock at six. Nice, nice defense by the Spurs. They got Gervin. They're not going to give it to Gervin. He's going to just keep driving. Silas keeps... Oh, Silas with an insane reversal there. And that that's the dagger bucket right there, I think. Cavs got our endure die mode right now. 40 seconds left. They got to convert this possession or it's over. 
And they shoot a midi contested. Don't get it. But Brewer with a big rebound. Brewer looking for a play. Jones. What a play by Jones. And that's what I'm saying. This man is a perennial NBA all-star right now in my book. I think I think he's really a great center. And San Antonio only up by one now. But they do have 27 seconds. They could burn a lot of the clock right here if they want to. They're going to get the ball to George Gervin. I love that option right there. He's going to just take it up top of the key because he could just use his size and try to draw a foul if he wants to if nothing comes open. Or they can run a play. They have a lot of options out of this one. We'll see what they choose. All right. Six, five, four, three. George Gervin doesn't do much of anything. He shoots a midi. But that's great. I mean, they, they just got the rebound and ended the game. Wow. What a what a rebound by Pulse. Pulse showing why he's uh, becoming a, a name in his own right. Uh, George Gervin, 20 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists in the win. Larry Keenan, 10 points, 13 rebounds, 4 assists, 5 steals. So he did do a little bit of everything. Um, Campy Russell, 14 points, 10 rebounds. Not a lot for the Cavs there. We're going to get out of here. They let that one slip. 15-9 record for the Spurs. Trailblazers versus Nuggets. You know we got to jump into that one. And it looks like the Nuggets are going to thrash them. I don't know that Bill Walton is back yet. It probably hasn't been a couple weeks. But yeah, this one's over. 109-98, good win there. Maurice Lucas, 22 points, 13 rebounds. 42 points for David Thompson, 9 rebounds. 15 points for Chuck Williams, whoever that guy is. Um, yeah, good, good win for David Thompson and company. This will ain't do much. Their uh, Trailblazers are now 20-6. and six. Nuggets are 19-4. All right, let's see. Rockets, Magic, Bobcats, 76ers, Pacer, Hawks, Bucks, Grizzlies. Let's see this one. Pacers, Hawks, because the Pacers are nice now. We got another close one. Oh, let's jump in. 85-86. Hawks up by one. See, I always find the good ones. I'm, I'm used to, like, now I know kind of who's who. And so let's turn off this three-point line. Yep. And we'll, uh... All right, so Atlanta up 86-85 here. They're going to inbound the ball. They inbound the ball to Hill. Atlanta probably going to just hold on to this one. Good defense by the Pacers. Seconds left in the I can see quarter. why they do really well. They lock teams down. Six on the shot clock. <laughs> yeah, they're forcing some good defense. Here's the quick. He almost threw that foul. Jones. Holy cow. Oh, good rebound by Jones. And Jones. Like the ones he's had tonight. Well, this kind of effort. Indiana has to force their own long shot. And they almost hit that. That was crazy. So Atlanta does win. Uh, Lou Hudson leads the way, 22 and 10 for him, and Billy Knight, 18 points, seven rebounds, four assists, two steals for the Pacers. Good night. We're gonna keep it moving. All right, let's see. Uh, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't really matter. Warriors Jazz, I'm probably gonna check out because both teams are pretty good. Or have at least some stars we could check out. But it looks like, unfortunately, Gold State's going to whoop that booty. Yeah. Pete Maravich, 26 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. 17 points for Gail Goodrich, 9 assists. Rick Barry had 29 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 4 steals. That's pretty good for his old age. 15 points for Derek Dickey. All right, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I don't really know about this one. All right, let's go January 29th. Spurs Suns. I've been I've been enjoying seeing George Gervin run run the court. I'll slow down just a little bit. 
and it looks like George Gervin's got the win here. Um, Connie Hawkins had 16. Uh, what's that? Dick Van Arsdale had 12. <laughs> I like that name. George Gervin, 20 points, 3 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks. He gets it done. 14 points, 16 rebounds for Pultz. He's having a pretty good season. He's averaging a double-double. Can't complain with that, you know. Um, Suns are actually 17 and 8. We got to watch more Suns games because they're they're not doing too bad. Uh, okay, Braves and Bulls. Yeah, we got to stop in on that one. Oh, wow, Bulls holding it down. I don't even know if they have Artist Gilmore back, but they win this game. That's pretty incredible. Yeah, Artist Gilmore is back. <laughs> he scores 33-13 and 13, um, and dominates them. Adrian Dantley had 20 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists. Randy Smith had 20 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists. 14 and a 7 for Moses Malone. McAdoo got shut down, apparently. Or he's hurt. Yeah, McAdoo looks like he's hurt. That sucks. Moses Malone got to step up now. Are he getting 36 minutes? Yeah. Interesting. All right, let's see. Cavs, Bucks, I'm about this life. All right, let's see. Oops, I forgot about my music, man. Been trying to just get through this last couple days of the month. All right, Bucks look like they're going to handle business here. And they will. 106, 106, 97. Bucks win that one. Um, for Cleveland, Jim Brewer had 18. Campy Russell had 17. 15 and 11 for Jim Jones. He's averaging a double-double, too. That's pretty good for him. He's, what, 27 years old? He's breaking out. Bob Dandridge, 23 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists. He's starting to break out a little bit. Uh, Brian Winters, 22 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists. Junior Bridgman, 16 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists. So, Bucks have a good core. I like them. I like them a lot. They're 16 and 11 now. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, Pistons Rockets, we might jump into that one. And Rockets are handing it to the Pistons. Holy cow, like what? Tom Janovich hurt himself, but he had 34 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists. John Lucas had 17 points, 12 and 16 for Kevin Cunnert. That's a weird name. Um, Bob Lanier, 18 and 19. 2 assists, 2 steals, 7 blocks. He did his thing, but he needs some help. All right, let's move on to the 30th. All right. Lakers Hawks, we're going to try to get one more Kareem a game on on the screen. Probably won't succeed in doing that. It looks like the Hawks are going to ice this one up. Yeah, they do. Lou Hudson, 30 points, 15 rebounds. Dang, he's on fire right now. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 26 points, 15 rebounds. 18 points for Bo Lamar, who is the Paul Pierce look-alike. 16 points for uh, Byron Beck. Good effort, but they don't get it done. Uh, so now Lakers are 16 and 11, so they're still doing decent. Um, Golden State versus the Kings. Nah, I'm not going to jump into that one. I'm not going to jump into that one. Yeah. I think we're done here. We'll see who plays on the 31st. Last day of the month. Bullets, Pistons. I think that's a worthy game. They usually go back and forth a lot. All right, 75-77. We'll go ahead and jump in here. Pistons up by two. Get some Bob Lanier on the screen. All right, we'll uh, 
take away that three-point line from you guys. Cool, and we will choose sides. All right. All right, so, so Detroit up by Washington. two. They do have the ball Andy now. And Pistons uh, bullets looking for a stop here, and they don't get it because money just runs past them. All right, so four-point lead for Detroit. That doesn't look good. Truck Robinson. Trucker Robinson. Elvin Hayes bullying down low. Love to see it. I love to see the bully ball right there. Elvin Hayes has 18 points on the night. As it gets. Coach trusts him to make when he plays down the stretch. I mean, because he's shown that ability time and time and time again. Now a timeout called by Detroit. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. And now we present our new balance. All right, so Bob Lanier. Look quick. And what an amazing 26 ball game points, 12 of 17 him. shooting. It's been a one man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't any oh, Kevin Porter, easy money. Car, he's checked in for the quick. He had a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our 81 to 77. Detroit hey, up. The head coach for Detroit had some instruction for the guys during the break. This is still a close game, and he told his guys, we're not far away. We can still get this one. If we seize the moment, we All can All right, Washington in a world of trouble right now. They find themselves Washington down by four up. points. They're picking up a lot of fouls. Wes Unseld inbounding the ball the for the Bullets. They need a bucket here. To focus on moving their feet they get it over to right. Maintaining a good defensive position. Now here's right. Oh, right. All the way. Oh, thought about it. Wes Unsell down low. Can't get it. Good pass, though. I like the extra pass option. No foul call. You, you, you were banking on the foul a little bit, banking on the bucket, but you didn't get it. But it was a good, it was a good effort. Pistons looking for a dagger right here. Yep, midi. No good, but Barnes with the rebound. Big offensive rebound. And Wes Unsell came out of nowhere and just hacked the crap out of him. And that's probably going to be it right there. Those free throws right there, 82. Six-point game now. Detroit is in the lead comfortably now. Bullets looking for a bucket. They need one. They're kind of in a drought right now. Haven't had much going on. Elvin Hayes on the bench. He was the last man to score on their team. But there we go. Robinson, Trucker Robinson gets that one. Truck Robinson. He has 20. Had some good motion on offense. Nice assistant. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping. All right, back to a four-point game. And, yeah, once again, yeah, Bullets defense just not looking nice right now. 85-79. And Pistons back up by six. Inside. All right, here we go. Truck Robinson back down. He shoots a fadeaway. He's feeling himself, but he ain't feeling himself that much. Carr pushing the issue. Looking for an option. Out to Lanier. Out to Porter. Lanier off the cut. That's going to be it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're out of here. Eight-point lead, a minute left. I don't think anything's happening with that. 91 80, 83 good put up uh good good push in the fourth quarter for the pistons 30 points for bob lanier eight rebounds two assists 22 points 10 rebounds for truck robinson 20 points nine rebounds four assists four steals two blocks for elvin hayes so both those guys had great games but bob lanier outshines all of them and gets the dub he they're now 20 and 7 so pistons still one of the best teams in the league behind bob lanier uh, Spurs Rockets, we will jump into that one just because it's a rivalry game. But it looks like they win. Uh, Spurs went easily. Um, George Gervin, 24 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. Nothing to see here. He gets it done. They're 17 and 9 now. Um, Suns versus Trailblazers might be worth looking at because the Suns are actually good. Yeah, this might be our last game of the day. So we're going to sim through this one and we're out of here. We'll take a look at the MVP running, stuff like that. But other than that, we'll just keep it moving. 
But uh, Blazers look like they are going to get the win. They are going to get the win. 122-91. Good win for them. Westfall had 21 points uh, in the losing effort. He had 7 assists, 16 points for Ira Terrell, 14 points for Connie Hawkins, 30 points, 10 rebounds in Bill Walton's return. He had 7 assists, 2 steals, and 5 blocks. And uh, Johnny Davis had 18 points, 2 rebounds, 6 assists, 1 steal. Bob Gross had 16 points, 16 points and 14 rebounds for Maurice Lucas, four assists, two steals, two blocks for him. So they just came out just slamming. Great to see. So that's going to close out. Uh, yeah, that, that that's going to close out January. So we got through January. I love to see it. We've been going for almost five hours. I did not know that. <laughs> This is really fun. So let's just uh, look through some news, and we'll be out of here. Um, let's see if the transaction report, if anything, happened. Uh, mostly just probably some G League stuff. Um, Hornets hired a new coach. Hornets fired their other coach. Um, just a bunch of G League stuff happening here. Uh, yeah, nothing major. Okay, so that's that's nothing major. Uh, we'll check the injury report. Um, hmm. There's a few of them. I mean, this guy, Bob Bigelow, <laughs> stack him. Leonard Gray. Walt Frazier still hurt. He's got one to two weeks before he's back. Robert Parrish has uh, left knee tendonitis. He's out for one to two weeks. Kermit Washington is hurt. He's out one to two weeks. Calvin Murphy's out one to two weeks for the Rockets. That's a pretty big deal. Bob McAdoo, sprained left toe. He's out for one to two weeks. That's a big deal. Um, Dave Bing for the Bullets is out. He's day-to-day. -day. John Drew, broken nose. He's day-to-day. -day. That's huge. Lionel Hollins for the Blazers. He's day-to-day. -day. Rudy Tomjanovich has a pinched left elbow nerve. He's day-to-day. -day. Nader for the uh, Bucks. He's day-to-day uh, -day as well. Darnell Hillman's healing. Tom Burleson for the uh, Supersonics. He's day-to-day. -day. We saw some of him. So, yeah, uh, probably McAdoo being the biggest one right now. And Walt Frazier. But they'll get healthy. That's good. Uh, let's check out our award races now. So right now, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar still in the lead running to win MVP this year. Um, Bob McAdoo right behind him, though. Artis Gilmore, David Thompson, Spencer Haywood still in the running as well. Rookie of the year, uh, probably going to go ahead and go to Adrian Dantley. We'll see what happens here. Um, this dude plays for Charlotte, and this dude plays for Charlotte. So we're not worried about a lot of these guys play for Charlotte. Like, what is this? <laughs> this man's averaging 31 a game and becoming kind of nasty, bro. What the heck, bro? Who is this guy? That's weird. Okay. Uh, let's look at the all-star voting. Oh, yes, we have an all-star voting. All right, so this year we're going to have Kareem, Team Kareem versus Team McAdoo. So on your West Coast, your representatives for the front court are going to be Artis Gilmore, Bill Walton, Bob Lanier, Bob Dandridge, Maurice Lucas, Rick Barry. The backcourt for the West Coast is going to be David Thompson, Brian Winters, Ron Boone, um, Brian Taylor, and Paul Westfall. And then the front court for the East Coast is going to be Bob McAdoo, Julius Irving, Spencer Haywood, Elvin Hayes, Dave Cowens, George Gervin, and Rudy Tomjanovich. And then in the backcourt, you're going to have Pete Maravich, Nate Archibald, JoJo White, Earl Monroe, and Randy Smith. This is incredible. This is incredible. Yeah, this will be fun. This will be fun. We'll see who gets in there. Um...
this is guy like tearing up the league right now like who is this kid bro <laughs> this is this like kid tearing up the league all right uh let's go nba records team records no we're good here uh let's go scouting right now mock draft it looks like bernard king would go first but the first round pick would really go to the supersonics um We'll see what happens. All right. Um. Let's go front office. Front office. League management. League management. No. 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 All right. Let's look at the. Uh, let's look at the standings. Let's look at the playoff picture. Okay. So for the West Coast, uh, yeah, Chicago Bulls dominating. Uh, they're the number one in the West Coast, followed by Golden State. Portland fell to three. Denver at four. Indiana at five. Pistons at six. I forgot they're a West Coast team this year. Um, Phoenix at seven. Milwaukee at eight. And then the Lakers are on the door. So Kareem has some real work to do to get the Lakers into the playoffs. But he can do it. I think it's possible. Um, and then on the East Coast, you've got Buffalo, Boston, way down there, San Antonio, and the Jazz are tied. You got the 76ers finally got in there, Houston's in there, Atlanta's in there, and then Cleveland's in there. Oh, Pacers are West Coast. Damn, that's crazy. Okay, this is interesting. The Bullets are missing the playoffs right now, but they could get in there. The Knicks probably won't make it. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Interesting. All right. Let's go to the season stats. Let's look at the league leaders. All right. Your league leaders for sh scoring are going to be David Thompson, 35.4. McAdoo, 33.6. Kareem, 32.8. Nate Archibald, 29 a game. Pete Maravich, 28.5. Julius Irving, 27.4. George Gervin, 26.9. Artis Gilmore, 25.8. Rudy Tomjanovich, 23.4. And then Ron Boone, 23.3. Um, Bill Walton just missed the cut. Uh, let's check out rebounds per game. This dude, this dude, Alan Lyles, bro. Okay, okay, this man does not count, bro. This man is getting all the rebounds for his team, so we're going to not count him. All right, so Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 27.1. This man doesn't count either. Who the hell is this guy? Uh, Spencer Haywood, 20.3. Artis Gilmore, 20.3. Cowens, 18.2. Elvin Hayes, 17. Bob Lanier, 15.8. Uh, Alvin Adams, 15.8. This man doesn't count. Um, Bill Walton, 15.6. Tom Janovich, 15.5. And then Connor, 15.4. We'll probably end it there. Um, assists per game. JoJo White leading the league with 11.1. .1, but now Pete Maravich is tied with him. Uh, Nate Archibald, 8.2 a game. Norm Van Leer, 7.8 a game. Charlie Scott, 7.7 .7 a game. Tied with Matt Calvin. Paul Westfall, 7.6 a game. Bob Danvrich, 7.5. Henry Bibby, 7.2. Earl Monroe, 7. And that's where we're at there. Steals per game. This guy does not count. Um, Rudy Tomjanovich, 2.4. This guy doesn't count. Jojo White, 2.2. David Thompson, 2.2. Brian Taylor, 2.1. Larry Keenan, 2. Nate Archibald, 2. Elvin Hayes, 2. That man don't count. Rick Barry, 1.9. Mark uh, Lucas, 1.2. And then John Lucas. Uh, blocks per game. Spencer Haywood has 3.3 a game, followed by Bob Lanier with 3.2. Artis Gilmore and Bill Walton each have 3 a game. Elvin Hayes, 2.6. Dave Cowens, 2.6. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 2.4. Alvin Adams, 2.3. Wes Unseld, 2.3.
Billy Pultz, 2.2, tied with Maurice Lucas. Good stuff. I want to see who has the highest field goal percentage. Bob McAdoo actually had the highest field goal percentage. So Bob McAdoo, Julius Irving, David Thompson, Bob Lanier, Bill Walton, John Drew, Dave Cowens, Rick Barry, Artis Gilmore, and George Gervin are the top 10 in field goal percentage. That's, that's really good company, man. What an incredible, incredible month. Can't wait to do February. Let's just take a look at the February calendar. It'll be short, so that'll be a short stream. We might do that on Saturday just because it's a short one. But appreciate you guys tuning in. I am out of here. Thanks for being here. Peace.